up, my buddy. What's going on? I love being monetized, but it throws off the second screen because they always load the commercial. So I don't know when our live feed really comes in or not. So sorry, I'm still learning. I'm still learning how it is to be making all these big bucks, the fat dollars <laughs> on the YouTube. <laughs> well, if that makes you feel any better, I'm not payable yet. <laughs> how, how come? You, you met the criteria, right? No? No. Well, in the sense of threshold. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. When they actually they have pay. a minimum, yeah, they have a minimum. Yeah, listen, I haven't been paid at all, but uh, so not. It's like a dollar a week or something. Two dollars a maybe, week. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's very, it was very taunting because, like, literally, you see that little thing, that little bar, and you're like, "That's that's it, almost half a pack of cigarettes a month." <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Well, well, I want to welcome everybody. It's kind of filling the room. See Wyoming Dave. Wyoming Dave has been sending me some really interesting emails. I won't uh, reveal what the subject matter is, but part of it is from me. We've got music in the house. What's going on, Devin? Hello, hello. Um, this is a new channel. Uh, Nor Normie Maslow, perfectly stated. <laughs> perfectly um, stated. Yeah. Biden fundraising. I just donated rather than ordering a Pablo Rishi. Oh, Mazzy, it's like you've read our mind. topic already. Did you read our Yikes. show notes? We're going, we're going, in, we're going ham on this topic. So that's fantastic. you know, I'm going to answer this. You know, Mazzy, what happens if Joe Biden is using your money to buy Pablo reissues? Oh, controversy. <laughs> that's that's how they're going to be peace in the Middle East with uh, those Pablo reissues. Those Pablo reissues is going to bring everyone peace in the Middle. East. I mean, listen, yeah. stranger things have happened. Ivan, what's going on? Ivan, the music man. Good stuff. Well. We already kind of threw it away, but this is Surface Noise. It's our bi-weekly, bi-monthly, but I guess bi-weekly, little show live stream that we do. Whether or not we do it well or not, you be you decide. You decide. And I'm joined by the familiar faces of the dais. Uh, quick shout out, David Bianco was going to join us, but a friend of his uh, had a family situation. That's Brad. He's in the VC. He doesn't post a ton, but just want to send out our thoughts and, and prayers to to Brad because that sounds like it was sudden and, and uh, wish him and his family well. But regardless, we are joined by, I want to call us the four horsemen, even though I've been called giant horse teeth by some esteemed people in the vinyl community. <laughs> On the same <laughs> reign. <though. Yeah. laughs> well, let's go around to the introductions. Obviously, I'm concert buddy. Joined by the newest live stream sensation from Monterey. Little, I mean, fresh, like a couple days fresh. Even woke me up from a slumber. I was doing podcast work, and this this shooting star, I just cannot help but join the universe. And that's Jose Moreno Ron, the owner, proprietor, runner of everything to do with Aurora Central Records. Jose, I what's take my wig off. Oh, I take your wig off, please. Let them see. Let them see who you really are. <laughs> yes. Thanks. You know, Jose is the only one to have like two DJs on his DJs, first yeah. live stream. It was, you know, the it music was, was on point. Yeah. It was a great first stream to because of that. The um, bar was set really high. I got to be honest with you. If but, you, you see know. that video, every like ten minutes, I was saying like, "Well, thanks for having, uh, thanks for being here." The live stream, and it, it was like three hours more. Jose, uh, you're a very <laughs> gracious host. There was no drama, no drama, no and drama. It, was, it was quite the scene. But before it was a perfect, the... perfect call. You know. That's, that's <laughs> <all I'm laughs> Hey, save your impressions for later when we get into the show topics. I'm counting on you to come with the best CK impression coming. And yeah. Then, from the Empire State, the one, the only, Arnaldo. The channel is Fidelios underscore frequency. Arnaldo, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, concert buddy. Thank you. Oh, see, you picked up because, heaven forbid, anyone use my government name. That would be just a crime against humanity. Hate to do it. Hate to do it. And then, rounding out the dais... One of those aforementioned DJs on Jose's epic live stream is in Austin, Texas. He's Jason Rojas. Jason, what's a good word? Thanks for having me, concert buddy. You know, can you highlight Jazz Bum's mic's comment Jazz here? Bum's mic, is he coming in hot? Let's see, Jazz Bum's mic. I'm here, ready, 
the blunt, the Pablo Ricochet hate. <laughs> Who there, is giving away our show notes? What the hell is right. happening? There shall be no Pablo Riyushu hate because all that money, as Norman Maslow stated, will be donated to the campaign fund of Joseph Biden. All right. I mean, listen, you heard it here first. So if it's not true, don't blame us. It was brought to you by Norman Maslow. It's a new channel in the Bible community. I would direct all your ire toward Norman Maslow, M A S L O V. <laughs> And he comes back with a retort. I appreciate this. Pablo's over Bibles. Wow. We're we're just getting real into the thick. Now, if you're talking about that Lee Greenwood Bible, I, I do have some questions. Maybe we'll touch on that on the freestyle, but it's it's not exactly the Bible I was brought up on. But anyway, let's I get into this. I think he's referring to the latest uh, vinyl community. Sorry, I'm on mute. I think oh, he's the referring to the latest vinyl community casting. Oh, it was a good one. Yes. I liked it. I liked it. It was very good. I, All right. So let, let's kind of crack into this. Let me get the the banners going because, you know, we're real technical around here. Get out of this and we go to the comments and we got to turn that off. All right. So the first topic. Whoa. Spoiler alert. The Pablo reissue sensation is upon us. Something I didn't know I needed. Jason yes. Rojas, did you know you needed the Pablo reissue craze? I'm going to tell you something, Concert Buddy. Chad from Acoustic Productions called me, and he said, Jason, on the red friends, line, on, on the red yeah, line, like the hard yeah, line. he was like, he was Chad man, right? Chad man. He called me, and he was like, hey, Jason, are we going to have your support this coming month? For the pop for the upcoming pablo jazz record reissues the key word was reissues then he threw me the bone right mm, mm. it's going to be pressed on 180 gram it's going to be wait, pressed wait, wait, wait. at uh, our place holy cow jason, Hang on. Say that part on again, jason. or no <laughs> jason what was it? say that part again please 180 gram Oof. Holy sheep! Is shit. it tip on jacket or no tip on jacket? Tip on jacket. The whole work, the whole mustard. QRP pressed at Q QRP has to stop, be stop, stop. right. Stop. I'm titles. Sweating. Titles yeah. chosen by the grandmaster himself, Chad. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make a pillow out of these uh, when I fall. <laughs> from excitement that I'm. Because they don't lose consciousness, Jason. Yeah, please continue. <laughs> Please, please. And it will be mastered by an award-winning mastering engineer, you know? And I was like, Chad, I, I already gave you my money for the, for the year, for the Steely Dan UHQRs. What do you mm -hmm. want? Do you mm -hmm. want my blood? Is that what you want? And Chad coughed. He was like, oh, yes. I was like, dang. Whoa. Whoa. That adenochrome uh, taste in his mouth was like, and then I quoted Norman Maslow. Well, I don't know. Bibles for Pablos? Is that what you want? <laughs> but you I know mean, what? Uh, uh, the, the Pablo reissues come with the Constitution? Yes. <laughs> I'm real happy about that one. Yeah. Now they're double happy about that one. That's like an effect from like a kindergarten cop. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't know where it came from. I just found it somewhere. But Jose, I mean, what was your first impression? You hear about this? Did you even know what Pablo was? I'm going to be honest. I would only loosely heard about um, it. But yes, I actually believe it or not. I have like two Duke Ellington records and both of them are that. And I bought it because I don't know if anybody here is a fan of David Letterman, but that letter David Letterman uh, skit where the guy's like uh, walking across the marquee building. Yeah, the, the, the marquee, and sure. uh, they play a Duke Ellington uh, piece. And for whatever reason, I wanted it at that time. I saw it was like $10, or I think it was mint condition, $10, and I got it. Uh, I have absolutely no intention of buying any of those. If somebody gives me one away, I'll give it to charity the second I can get it. 
I don't know if Charity wants it. I pretty much, I'm pretty, pretty sure no. Okay. But uh, I just wish the Chad for for the second time in his lifetime because he did it once with the um, uh, Pharaoh Sanders one. I just wish that he got sweet talked into like reissuing more stuff like that, like like uh, like hey, do do the Pharaoh Sanders records or the or the Alice Coltrane ones, but like. Mm -hmm. She was married to John Coltrane, you know that, and and, uh, and maybe he Man, can. Jose, 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 I hate to interrupt, but I'm about to place an order on acoustic sounds. Hang on a second. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's a very well-known fact that if you go to the AP um, website. And you go to the bottom, there's a link to go to the Space Jam website. Clean <laughs> creators. It's an Easter egg. I don't know if you know about it. No, this is yeah. new information. I got to be honest with you. Oh, I boy. Bet, I bet on the, uh, after the announcement of the Pablos, um, checking out from the uh, Acoustic Sounds yeah. website was probably a breeze. <laughs> 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 People are deleting everything wow. from their, their cart. Like, no, 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 not today, not today. I mean, seriously, wow. there is a member of the vinyl community who is selling a lot of the Pablos. See, even Norman's got them. He's probably queuing them up for the next auction. And well, we'll I get can, into that. That's a nice teaser and all, because there's another layer to this. But please continue. And I cannot flip past them fast enough. When I'm at the at the use bin, <laughs> all I see, I flip through and I see the Pablo reissues in the jazz section, and I'm like, again. And if I'm not mistaken, they originally were issued on tip-on jackets, correct, guys? I think some of the older ones already on the heavy Stoughton type. Yeah, jacket. yeah, they are. nothing new there. They're uh, they're pretty to look at. Really, I, some of the artwork is. It's, no, it's, no, pretty no, basic. I mean, it's pretty basic from what I've basic. seen. The, the problem that I'll say with, look, I have come around in between getting reissues of other stuff in general and getting the original one. The ones that are like old black and white covers most of the time do have ring wear. But for real, like an, um, at least right now for the mint condition Pablo records, they're like $15, 20 bucks. How much are the these? I've new seen ones? doubles for ten dollars. Well, you know, how how much are the new ones? Anybody has uh, any Jose? I've got forty smackaroos on the website okay, right so. now. Is that no, a, no, a single no. one or a double? Uh, it looks like so. I'm just going to click on one. I know I'm not showing it. I don't want to get too fancy here, but Duke Ellington, Duke's Big Four, pre-order forty dollars. This looks like a one disc. -er. There's and there's our friend's big smile. I like I like they've embedded the YouTube video making the announcement in each of the product description well, pages. Can, you, nice can you highlight uh, Mazzy's uh, comment? Mazzy's well, on fire. Hang on, let's yeah. get him. Let's Did get him. So my question is, why won't you just reissue those five or six and be done with it? How, why? Ma Mazzy says to... yes. There are about four or five, five or six that are look, worth more if, than the ten dollars. That is it. If if the conversation in the headquarters at uh, NL Productions were, listen, man, they're doing the the uh, OJ like OJCs. Uh, what's what's the second best, right? If that was the conversation, like, hey, what's the second best thing? We're already doing. Somebody else is doing this. What what can we do? If that was the greatest pitch, I'll send my uh, curriculum. Maybe they can. Hire me, I can get some maybe better ideas and that shit. Is that just not 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 the best? Uh, hey, quick shout out to this channel. This is Kendall. His channel is Spin Doctor and his Vinyl Mayhem. He's in North Carolina. Any correlation to the Spin Doctors? Ooh, I don't know. Kendall, tell us in the comments below. Mm -hmm. But he says these will be on sale. The next big sale they have this summer is my guess. Now we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this live stream up, and we're gonna go back and we're gonna see if you're right, Kendall, because I have a feeling. You're right because didn't they say the the first two fifty, not first five hundred, not first thousand, but first two fifty oh. are numbered. Oh boy! So 
You know what we? You know what would be fun maybe later at the free free for all section. But it would be nice to if you find freestyle. all those same Jose. records. The freestyle, Jose, freestyle. get help us, man. Free for all. No, yeah, the, no, free, the freestyle, freestyle happens on other streams. <laughs> Come on, man. Maybe get those like the same records by like uh, original like BG plus near mint condition on disc. <laughs> <laughs> see if, how much those are because I'm pretty sure you know. Jose, hang on, hang on. I think I have an email You've from got Chad. Mail. Oh, hey, hang on a second. You've got mail. Oh, I gotta see what do you want, Jason. You've lit the fire. You've lit the fire from Selena Kansas. You can probably see it by airplane. You fly over. You see the the burning embers. I mean, it's it's getting hot in there. What can I say? Well, the other part of this, guys, and I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I've already seen it. And I saw. I forget what I was watching, but somebody said that their local store is already marking the prices of their existing Pablo stock up. And I noticed one of my locals in their new arrivals, like I check their website pretty regularly because they get some nice stuff. And they were featuring new arrivals, Pablos and these things. And they were selling them to their credit for like $10, $15. I got to be honest, this shit I would, I would never even consider taking these things like home like this. I'm sure it's a nice label and I'm sure it's a nice series of recordings, but how many <laughs> count Bassy titles does a human being need? Like, let's just be honest with ourselves. Jose, what do you think? I mean, could the pressing power be used somewhere else? I don't know. 90s recordings. Yeah, well, again, that's my look as, as a label owner myself, I can tell you that, um, there are different things you have to take in consideration when you're thinking of doing a series or doing an artist or doing whatever. Sometimes you have to, it's great to reach the stuff that you love and you're passionate about, but sometimes you have to learn to listen to people and say, Hey, why don't I get ahead of the curve? And it'll be like easy cash for someone like chat, just to say, let's do something that's a little not not that it has to be rare, but it hasn't been reissued in a while. That maybe no one's doing properly again, like the Alice Cold Train ones. Vinyl Me Please is doing one, I think, in a month or so, and uh, I'm very happy about it. But for real, it's like I don't understand why go to the cheap. This is like this is almost as reissuing the sound of music. It's like why would you start doing this like? five dollar bin records it's on because, because he's a dot dot salesman and he believes but that's not a good salesman well it all depends on perspective it, I, I guess. if you make something sound like it's rare the 250 right the numbering mm -hmm. of 250 yep. you make it limited you make the little bells and whistles of the 180 gram and the stoughton type jacket you may find someone who is not determined to flip through or willing to flip through the bargain bins. Maybe. And be like, okay, I'll just click it and I'll buy it. I like that. It's a popular title. Um, it's a popular name. And also, I also think it's a low hanging fruit. Probably the license mm -hmm. to get these Pablos was probably cheap. very, very cheap. And sure. there's really, there's only money to be made from that, especially. Well, if you can figure a way to sell it and convince people that they need it, because that's what this is all about. Maybe about convincing them to buy something to make them feel like they need that. Maybe, maybe my suggestion would have been if they wanted to do the Pablo, why don't make a nice box set with the logo? Because the, the actual logo is pretty nice looking. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. 10 essential records release four or maybe all five or six of the rare ones and have a little fun with the other ones, the ones that Chad really loves or whatever. And uh, you don't have to make them 45 RPM, 600 gram vinyl. You don't have to do that. You know, it's, it, can, it, it can be like- Can you, you know, imagine they were double 45s? Hey, <laughs> hold up here. I'm getting a text message from Chad right now. Uh, okay. Box set. All of them double forty-five coming, <laughs> coming. A gatefold tip-on jacket. Yes, caught by Ryan, not K. Smith because he again one eighty gram QRP 
right. Master yeah. by award winning mastering engineer. You know. Holy I mean, I would, I would, I wouldn't skip it on my email as fast as the, the, this news. So, you know, so. I mean, that's yeah. intense. At least I would read it. You know? No, Jose, you raise a good point. I mean, a box set probably could have been just as impactful yeah, for the, the people who are looking CDR. for it. All right, so, but, but Arnaldo, surely there's got to be a rhyme or reason why he just wanted to sell the individual title. I, it, it, the logic would probably be a box set at, I'm making a total of $400, probably won't move as much, have as much velocity as single titles here, there, everywhere. And then you can kind of, you know, obviously recoup the ROI and that kind of stuff. So it sounds like uh, everyone's getting some. Uh, what titles are you getting, Jason? <laughs> I couldn't delete that email fast enough. <laughs> you know, um, Hang you on. Know, I, I will, Mazzy, I will, Mazzy, breaking news. He said it was cut by Ryan Felderstein. Stein or Stein? I, I don't want to mispronounce it. Ryan Feldstein. He's you need some uh, 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 Jewishness to to uh, completely read it. <laughs> always, always has to. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. Look, I love when records get reissued, and you look at them, and they have a little more to them. It doesn't have to always be 180 tip-on jacket or whatever. But for example, I'll give you a quick example of a record nobody here knows. But but my point is that, for example, this is a very Making you big. Record. Making you big. Here we go. Boom. Right. It'll be it'll be thirty seconds. But this is a very beautiful record. Uh, she was a musician in New York. She who who is that, Jose? We have visually impaired people watching. Uh, Dorothy Carter. Dorothy Carter. This was right. recently reissued. Right now, the original goes for like two hundred dollars. But I'm really in love of how much they put an effort to this. This is twenty five dollars. It is chip on jacket. It's very beautiful, pretty music. And you know what? It comes with like uh, she was. A, it's a, a little obscure artist, but my point is that even if it's an obscure artist, at least they took time of like making, like every single uh, chord, note, okay. photos, sessions, things, of uh, things that you have never seen before, interviews, and all that. Twenty five dollars. Well, yeah, Jose, you no you way, Jose. you pre you press you press records, right? Yeah. So that's a bargain. That's in yeah. what a sixteen-page booklet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a one jacket. That's yes. that's that's extra add-ons for um, for. Hey, the I, mean, that's good you, I don't know and, if this is considered audio file, but but at least it's that looks like than, based you know. on the inner sleeve. It looks like it was even done at RTI. Yeah, I think uh, I think it might have been. I uh, I haven't read where it was pressed, but again, it's like. If somebody, yeah, Mazzy, you already did that joke, Mazzy. You already did it. Oh, oh Mazzy is doing repeat material. Come on, yeah, what's going yeah. on? But again, this is one of the most beautiful <laughs> records you can find. It's uh, a lot of uh, uh, weird instruments that uh, you know um, that I absolutely love. And again, you get a record that's two hundred dollars, and you, you you have the opportunity to get it to twenty five, and it sounds amazing, and all of that. Sure. I'm just saying, like, if you have all the money in the world, which it, I'm not figure, literally which Jose saying does. Let's be honest. Jose money. does have the money. No. What I'm saying is, like, if I had that kind of money, I would try to reissue stuff that I know people want because there's so much stuff that I want. But when you have, when you have a business, you have to think what people want to buy. Because if you're just pushing down their throat, like, hey, get this pressing because it's audiophile. I know there are some people in the VC, not naming names, but as long as Ryan K. Smith or the Ass Man or whoever. Or uh, Ryan Feldstein. Or Ryan Feldstein. <laughs> Ryan Feldstein, yes, Ryan uh, Feldstein. Uh, uh, press it. They, 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 just want, they just want it. I don't understand that. As an audio engineer myself, not a coding engineer, just an audio engineer sure. myself, I find it really weird that people are like, who cut it? Wait, 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 who caught it? I'm buying it. It could be anything. It could be anything. I don't, I don't All right, so, so Jazz know. Mom's mic, he's been ready. He's been doing his homework, listening to us goof around, and yeah. he's coming with some fat, fast facts. First, Chad reissues Pablo's in the late 90s, early 2000s. If you look past sales on Discogs, they're around 140 to 200 bucks. Okay. Well, 
All the more. Hang on, hang on. He's, he got he got his with three times. Then he says 2003 AP reissue of the Timekeepers. The average sales 140. Okay. Now, now you're piquing my interest. The 2005. This one's for Blanton. Average sale price 177. Now I can appreciate that. Um, I can appreciate that. But that's even lamer because he already did it. It doesn't matter what the <laughs> second market. It doesn't matter what the second market won. You know, that's even lamer. Again, how much if the reissue is going for 105? How much is the original one? Because if it's fifty dollars more, a hundred dollars more, why would you want to get the reissue from? Because it's cut by Ryan Feldstein. And it's a and, and it has a tip on jacket, and, and it's, it's number one. In what? fact, I'm going to order it right now just because you said that. I, 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 so I want to give a shout out to a new friend of the show, Jazzy Jeff. Says I already have ten of the twelve titles, all but two are great and must have if you're a jazz fan. Respect, great, happy for you. Is this something that I need personally? Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Especially, again, I, I, I was kind of like non-committal on anything when I heard the announcement. But then once I started hearing this rumbling of the stores are like, thank God we can get this dead stock and put it to the front of our website. And then I literally saw my local do the, the exact same thing. I was like, holy smokes, we may have something on our hands, folks. This Maybe I've been missing the boat all this time. Yeah, um, I mean. The, now, my, B meters, my- Rich, Rich has got a good point here. He says Chad has two, not one, two Stone Temple Pilot albums in the top twenty bestsellers, including the number one spot. Do you exactly. more of that? That's what I was mark? saying. Do more? Of, no, no, no! Don't do more of that. There's many suckers. I mean, many people ready to yeah, buy those I'm Pablo taking, I'm, reissues. I'm, I'm taking shots. Okay? I'm taking shots. Jazz on my. He's going in hard on me. He says, "Chance, you mispronounced Basie." This series is probably not for you. No offense. You're probably right, Mike, because I mispronounced this gentleman's name in a moment. Funny like right, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it in Spanish just to piss off Mike. Basi. Please. Right. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, now I'm, I'm gonna, gonna audit this. all of the Friday Jazz Bombs live streams, and I'm gonna find out if Jazz Bombs Mike has ever mispronounced something because that's what you do in the vinyl community. If <laughs> you go different. Yeah. Than that. So be ready. Be ready. It's coming. I've heard Mike say uh, Frank Sintra, so I, that doesn't mean. <gasps> oh, shit. I think we just started oh, yeah. some drama. Oh, hang I'm on. I got I to gotta drop for that. You ready? Yeah. I'm, drama. I'm, Let's I'm go. Let's but for go. real. Look, for real. <laughs> I, I'm not a big jazz fan, as most people know. And the one that I like, I like it weird. I like it loud. I, I like it crazy. And I know that they're not going to re- reissue that. I'm extremely fine with it. In fact, I hope he doesn't because if he does, I don't be paying $100 for it. But I will say that he has to sit down and get around with his team and say, hey, what's the best thing they've been selling? And when he noticed that it's like this like 90s type rock, he might get a little small heart attack or whatever but he should <laughs> no but he should know Back his audience the is, look, look, if if his audience is saying we want more of this right can you can you imagine if that guy that guy i don't think he's ever heard my bloody valentine but if he did like my something along the lines of like my bloody valentine sure. or fucking the smiths like or not we walk to kansas just to buy it probably but, Jose, there's, Jose but, but Chad, does speak the, actually, Chad speaks the universal language. You know what that language is? English. Oh, all right. The second yeah. one. The second yeah, one. Yeah. So. <laughs> but what do you, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just curious as to why he doesn't really like listening to his audience. Maybe, maybe we don't know. His audience doesn't even I'm have YouTube. Him. It's only like I'm on going to defend him. He said this because when when the when they announced the Atlantic seventy five, I did remember a video he did where he, he was pleasantly surprised about the STP and some the Matchbox twenty and so forth. And he made a comment. He's like, maybe this will be something we explore in the future. But he did. I forget whatever show he was on. It might have been a Michael forty five show. I don't remember. But somebody asked him the pointed question of why don't you do more like that? And he said, well, I like making what I like listening to, and it's his company. So you know, I. 
I get it, but I also think you want to make that cashish. And I think you, uh, the faucet's ready, but uh, we've kicked this topic around enough. But the next topic is very similar, and that is anniversary vinyl reissues. Is this a cash grab? Now, Jason, you're kind enough to load us up with some of these topics today. What, uh, Where do you land on this one? Uh, what was it again? Sorry. So anniversary vinyl reissues, like, you know, 37th anniversary of Tenacious D or, you know, whatever. Like, there's a lot. Uh-oh, Jose, you're having some technical problems. <laughs> is that a... It's that a cash grab. And before, Jason, you give your answer, I think Jazz Mom, I think I broke Jazz Mom's mic. He says, and children, please don't listen to this word. Fuck anniversary reissues. Can I read it? Can I read it? Can I read it? Jose, please. Fuck anniversary rises. Uh Uh-oh, (laughs) uh-oh. Hang on, hang on. I got to hit that sound. Hang on a second. Whoa, we got one. We got one. (laughs) We got Mazzy. Mazzy coming in hot with the drama. Is Matthew, is, Matthew, is Matthew like thinking out loud? He was just like, does Michael still does show? All right, listen, th- listen, this is a this is a show of learned men. Jason, what do you think about this anniversary reissue? Is it a cash grab? If it has nothing to offer, meaning extras, right? Like bonus tracks, you're getting the same old. You know what? I was gonna go show this one. Let me let me go get it and I will. Okay, while well, he gets it, it, I'll show another one. Can I? All right. Let's do it. Let's make it. Unless it's the same one. Let's go. What do you got? Can I? Can I? Arnaldo, it looks like you're holding up the anniversary edition of Nevermind. Oh, yeah. Sorry for the the orally. Uh, Why? Why? What, what, uh, what, what's going on in that image? So, yeah, this is the only great thing this has going for it is the jacket. Oh yeah, the, the jacket looks amazing. Yeah, you can yeah. throw the record and get the, the tip-on you know, jacket, and you know they made a gatefold. So great. That's for a new photo. Movie. That's a new photo. Yeah, way. it is a new photo because it wasn't in the original artwork. Uh, you know, I forgot if they included. Yeah, they don't have. Hey, what happened to the sheet? Oh, here it is. Yeah, the original sheet is here, um, and they had the seven-inch. I guess the seven-inch is probably the best thing of this reissue, and the jacket. And this is what 30th anniversary, right? 35th. Okay. So no, wait. I'm sorry. 30th. You're right. 30th. 30th anniversary. Yeah. Yeah, um, but when they come up with those, yeah, you know, 32nd, 35th, like that's clearly a cash grab, right? Right. 100. percent Can I? Can I, um, I, I say my, my thoughts? On this? Can I, can I express my thoughts? Jose, here? Jose, are you asking me to remove Arnaldo from big status? Oh, no, no. oh hang on. We got twins. Oh, great. You got the same one. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the 20th. Oh, the 20th. And, you know, let's let's hold back here, you know. Double gatefold. Mm. Mm. I, that photo, he looks like very creepy. A oh, different photo. This is much this, better. You got dueling gate folds. This is this is it's breaking new ground, guys. This is beautiful. I prefer Jason, that photo on the right on 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 Arnaldo's side. I, yeah, I think Arnaldo had the better photo for if, if we're rating at home. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we've got pictures of I guess the tape canisters and Jason's. It looks like. I mean, this is. Well, was that crack. analog, Jason? The twentieth. Let me call Chad to verify. <laughs> this is Chad. This is not a Pablo. What do I do? Hang on a second. I'm going on the website real quick. Hang on. Well. <laughs> um, I will say that I myself have been a victim of uh, releasing not one, but two releases celebrating anniversaries. So as, as, as someone that uh, can, can tell you, talk to you about it, uh, but what anniversaries? What, what was the shameless, number? Shameless plug. Yeah, this is a, a noise record, <laughs> you know. But uh, I did put uh, only on the spine. I don't know if you could see it somewhere. That's Where a is good it? One. It says, oh, no, it's the only side. Right, sorry. Hang on, Jose. I'm making you big. Going in big. It says 20th anniversary, but only on the spine. And this is the first time it's ever been released on vinyl. And he has four songs, extra songs that make up uh almost 30 minutes of new music uh this is a japanese noise artist merciful and uh the only reason i put the 
anniversary type thing was this one as well was because again it had never been released on vinyl and i just thought it was weird that i was releasing it during that time but it was not really celebrating it it was just more well, like, well here's the big question did you cut it from a cd copy no i did not, <laughs> I did not. I, and, I, and i did put in your right. photo this uh photo of the uh of uh Masami's uh studio when he recorded he has never released any photo of his studio when he recorded so it was a, a big deal because that's how he it has a, a sonic youth cassette there you could see there a sticker uh but uh i mean sometimes i think they are fun um but uh what happens mostly with like ex big big releases when they do like their anniversary ones it's just they either already did it for like 20th or 15th or 10 or whatever they don't even have any material to show because the dark side of the moon one i think no one bought it I'm pretty sure. Are you talking about the fiftieth? This is the yeah, one that just 50th. came out. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I, I didn't buy it. You know, I speak for myself. So, so, what, so it sounds like the consensus is in the right setting, with the right extras, it makes sense. And if it's like an anniversary, like a, you know, or, like wedding, after five years, it's this. Ten years is oh, hang on, do we have a we have another dual match? What is going on? Well, I, I have though. I have the. I don't, I'm not gonna go get it. My my dog is in my life. What's that? What so that Jason's that? still holding up the. Uh, is that what is it? It's the, the live ball? live. Um, Hang on, I gotta make you big. Hang on, Jason. Here we go. The boombox. It's virtual. just the track list from the extras. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you get all the B sides. You get endless, nameless. That's pretty badass. Okay. Well, that, you know? the, well, in that case, so that's a good thing, right, Jason? That they added some studio sessions and some B sides. So is that a good reissue, anniversary reissue, or a bad one? It's a very good one, even right. though it sounds like poop. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the idea behind it, The right? artistic intent and, and commercial exactly. intent. Exactly. Like the artistic right. intent. <laughs> oh, that's tremendous. Uh, so, Arnaldo, you're holding up one. Why don't you talk no, about this that? This is the 30th, though. That and someone, that's, and that's the one yeah, I have, right? right? That's someone very kindly gifted me. Um, and this is definitely a worthy reissue, in my opinion, of the 30th anniversary, not the 50th or the 40th uh, of Dark Side. And, and why is that? What, what makes it a winner for you? Well, because it was cut by Kevin Gray. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I that was one of the first records I bought. Uh, I still own it. Uh, but the only reason I bought it was because of the mastering engineer. You know, it's... Uh, the only reason I bought it. Uh, hey, no lie. I'm going to tell myself real quick. Yeah. So I bought a, a Joe Satriani record online today. And when I was looking through the credits. I saw it was mastered by the OG BG. And that was oh. it. I, I couldn't hold off. Bernie Grunman, boom. Psh, had to get it. <laughs> I'm just saying, that was also 20 bucks. I'm okay to take a $20, you know, flyer like that. But Wait, I'm trying All to right. We beat this topic up, guys. Man, we're mo we're moving at a glacial pace here. Let's see what some of the comments say. Oh, Ivan, this is this is a powerful comment. Shall we hit the thumbs up in this stream? He's got the Absolutely. pondering emoji, and it's a great thing to ponder because we need all the help we can get. We need to we need to get all the jet fuel because there's so many competing live streams out there, and I'm being told that this is a un, un what was the word not rewatchable live stream, and that, that hurt my heart. It hurt my heart. So that means it's more powerful and impactful for the people over here, which I thank you. Please, like Ivan says, got to hit that like button. There are 45 else. people watching, but only 16 likes. So we really. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Mike, Mike's like thumbing down because of the power. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> hang on, hang on. We, we've got a lot. Hang on. Live call from the former governor of California, Arnold. What, what do you have to say about that, that math? You are this. Disgusting. Disgusting. Arnold, you are right. We need some more likes. Please. Uh, please. Please. I mean, uh, it would be interesting if Mike can join after for in the in the free for all. Oh, please. Jose, you're killing That's the brain. The morning stream, the free for all. <laughs> this is the freestyle. <laughs> free for all. All right, let, let's let's hit the last topic and then we can get to the free for all sooner for Jose. Um, let me hide this comment again, Ivan. 
appreciate you. So last topic for the, the organized portion of the chaos. In the golden age of vinyl reissues, which I think we can all admit, it's a, it's a great time to be a record collector for the availability of reissues. Will any hold value? And I think this is a very interesting question for a couple of reasons. One, myself as a collector, I've conditioned myself to lean and, and try to chase those OGs first, just because that's my personal preference for several reasons, value being one of them. Uh, the story, the ambiance, the patina, as Mike Wolf likes to say. But some of these reissues actually sound better than OGs in certain cases. But we'll get kind of get into all that. So, Arnaldo, why don't we kick it off with you? In this yeah. golden age of vinyl reissues, do you think 15, 20 years from now that Nirvana 30th anniversary, for example, let's just use that one. I mean, does that return value? Does it decline? I, I value? don't know because the, the quality is subjective. Uh, who knows how many more times they will reissue it. Uh, probably at the 40th, they'll get it right. <laughs> um, but if we look back, uh, those classic records reissues of Led Zeppelin, people keep saying they don't sound very good, but they're still going for three, four hundred dollars. So those are holding value. Um, some of the earlier UHQRs that are sold out, they're holding their value. True. And it depends, I guess. Who knows? We'll see. look at the music matters. Those were only done what five years ago, and they're still holding value. True. So if they're done well and they sound better and they improve upon the original, also because so, maybe since they're a lot of these music matters are fifty years or forty years younger than the originals, mm -hmm. it's probably easier to find a music matters even if you pay two hundred dollars. I don't have any and I don't know exactly what they go for. But to find an OG in that same condition will probably be even more expensive. Like I saw a way out west for $500 and it wasn't even mint. So maybe the recent Concord reissues will also be you know, sought after once they go out of print, if they go out of print or the tape deteriorates. Fair point. So Pat's radio has a good point. I'm going to do two points in a row before we move on to Jason on this one. So the Alice in Chains reissue, which Jason is holding up, Jar of Flies and Sap. Uh, the Alice in Chains anniversary issues have been welcomed by people who missed out previously. So Pat's Radio, that's a fair point. Um, I know like when the Dirt uh, reissue came out, it was nice. But Jason, you and I have talked privately about the Jar of Flies reissue. And where, where, do, <laughs> <laughs> where do you land on it? Because I think we land in a similar spot. Where do you, how do you feel about this one? Shout out to Pat's radio. I'm trying to free the flies from this jar because the pressing <laughs> is so bad, you know, I'm trying to free them. <laughs> They're not leaving. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, I, I gotta be honest. It, it, it let down. And now I have an original. I don't have oh. an MOV. I know. I know. Shout out to VU meters. Rich, if you still here, he did a, a, a nice comparison on his channel. Check it out. But oh, wasn't there a, a very serious, audiophile praising that very same reissue uh that is true and we no, don't no, want to no, no, audiophile no, shame no, anyone did you, did you get a really bad pressing jason or no, 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 I, think you're, <laughs> or no I think you're messing up it was a comedian that, that, that did it to, <laughs> to two things Let's can follow. be true at the same time boys two things can be true at the same time but jason uh, how do you please to these charges because yeah. this was mastered by Ryan Feldstein. <laughs> no go. Like, no excuses, right? That, I mean, that actually oh, sums up what this perfect. thing is. No excuses. Nice job. Um, this song ends on side one, and it, there's something wrong, like, clearly, you know? Whether just the compression or the vocals and the music, just no. No. Like, I... This makes me sad. I want to, I want to flush this in the toilet badly. Wow, wow! It's a, it's but, a I mean, toilet. <laughs> I'm like very happy that it was only twenty two bucks at my local. Yeah, I agree. So, I agree. I agree. I agree. That's like a positive. Twenty two. That's yeah. really cheap. Cost effective. Now, I did get so when this got announced. Even though I'm on the Allison Chains mailing list. I did not get a heads up. I actually got a heads up from my friends over at Vinyl Reddit subreddit vinyl releases and i missed the i guess the the high high 
and Jose knows this company that does this. They did the, I think it was only maybe a hundred. It was a very small run, yeah, but, but it's like flies encapsulated in the vinyl. It's a really cool concept, but Red those fly, things definitely. sold out in a, yeah, like a nanosecond. And they were already going that same day on eBay, not even in hand eBay listings for like 700 plus. I think I saw one for like 2000, blah, blah, blah. So the next best is what I got. Next best, next exclusive was the tricolor. And I'm with Jason. I was very underwhelmed, to be honest with you, because you've heard me talk about this on the live stream. I'm not an audiophile by any stretch. Don't take my opinion for anything. But when I put it on and the first thing I have to do is like not just turn it up, but crank it. That's 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 it's an automatic turn off for me and I mean, instrumentation yeah. and stuff is nice, but it just could have been could have been should have been would have been. And it's only one disc, right? Like if you're waiting, we've been waiting patiently. Couldn't they have really throw 10 more dollars on and give us a second disc and spread it out? Just a thought. Just or, a thought. They, or they could have called Chad and said, hey, can you do this justice? Well, <laughs> and make it a double 45. Yeah, so what I've heard, my, my spies on the ground at the burger stand in Selena said that Columbia did reach out to Chad and Ch Chad told him, sorry, man, we got this Pablo's coming in. Jose, I can't even do it. I'm sorry. I can't even do <laughs> uh, listen, man, um, um, I could be here all night. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite records. We're in the white shirt, right? Of course, of course. So, Arnaldo, did you did you get this one, or is this? I did not. That? No, I did okay. not. Um, no, I did, I'm, I'm not a huge Alice in Chains fan. Okay. Um, okay. and I did not get that. So yeah, Rich. Well, so I Rich, definitely won't now after you guys both trashed. Well, it. and again, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> spend your money how you want to spend your money. I mean, I'm just saying that when when Jason and I were literally texting about this, and like he's like, "Oh, this is so bad," and I'm like, "Oh, please don't say that." And then I put it on, like, yeah underwhelming now view meters rich again check out his review he said the mov is way better but he wishes he had an og i get that a lot i get that a lot i mean view Look. meter i looked up the prices for the mov and i was like seriously and then the og like was double triple and i was like oh yeah it's i was like i messed up on this like <laughs> i bought the nirvanas but and the sound gardens but I avoided the Alice in Chains. That was no. a mistake. Mistake. The, so it's funny. The weekend this came out, which I guess was last weekend or maybe weekend before, um, one of my locals had the MLV and it put it up on their wall. And yeah, it was it was significant money. And I was like, wow, I didn't know. I know the, the MLV of the Unplugged goes for like serious Jack because that's the only one. But I had no is idea that the, the uh, MLV. Is it the, uh, the, is it the uh, Jar of Flies Sap? MTV yes. Unplugged? Yep. Yeah, uh, the one that unplugged. How much is it going for? The unplug is north of two hundred, maybe close to three hundred by now. I saw one in a shop for three bills. Uh, I'm just gonna go on a limb and uh, uh, throw a link in the in the private chat. Is that is that is that? A... Hang on. Are you hang on? Hang on. We don't do anything behind the scenes here without telling the audience because we don't run that kind of ship around. Well, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll send it. I'll send it in the private chat. I don't know. <laughs> So John Bandy, thing, friend really. of the show, John Bandy's here. He says the only Allison Chains reissue they got pretty good is facelift. Eh, I thought Dirt was pretty good, but there was conflicting I'm reports a, because I'm the MPO pressing, movie. the MPO pressing apparently was better received than the. I think it was it was it the who's the one in uh, Nashville? Is that United? The United pressing was you, kind of panned a little bit. In some Nashville of the is URP. URP. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Chance, uh, ignore, ignore me, ignore me. Uh oh, Jose. Jose is selling us bad information. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to figure out how to send my the the, the thing to my Jose. If you send me a link to a dick pic or that Chuck Berry tape in the private <laughs> chat, we're gonna have a real problem, fella. That's all I'm saying. Wish. That's all I'm saying. Oh, now see, Pat's radio said that's disappointing. I have a copy waiting at the shop. I might stick with my MLB. To Jason's point, it's a twenty dollar flyer, maybe a little yeah. extra. You know what I mean? Like. Well, I, I, Make up your own Rejected. mind. Don't listen to us, you know, jabronis Rejected. over here. Like these are just two opinions. Again, I, I, I have the disclaimer of not. I'm the last person that should be talking about soundstage or imaging or they're in the room with you. I mean, I don't say any of that stuff. I just tell you if I like it and I thought it sounded good. And you already heard my initial criteria is if I have to crank it, I'm already turned off. Now, what do you got, Jose? Making you big? Uh, I found someone that's selling this. 
Okay. But is that the boot? It's a boot that, leg. That's a boot, but I don't think it's a boot. It's leg. a boot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know that. Why? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I, I, the reason I say it, Jose, is I've seen that sticker, and that sticker was generally All on right. the boot. So, right. are they selling it for like thirty bucks or something? Two discs? No, not, it says ninety. <laughs> but are you sure that's? Guys, I think we picked the wrong topic. We should have went double down on boot. Oh, it says stuff. red imported vinyl. Is that is that a bad design? Yeah, Jose, we're gonna have oh, to give right. you the the one and done. <laughs> I thought I was gonna bring you like good that's a news. bootleg. That's a bootleg if there ever was one. When they start, when, the, when they have the, the, the color variants, that's already and it says well, somebody, somebody's selling your uh, tri collar one for sixty five. Well, maybe maybe I'll outdo them, <laughs> throw my number for fifty, and get some of my money back. <laughs> we'll see how that runs. But but again, buyer, buyer, I wouldn't say buyer beware. Buyer do what you want to do. But for twenty dollars, eh. if it was thirty or forty, I'd probably caution against getting it. But you know, so be it. So Bandy's back. He says, nah, dirt kind of sucks compared to the OG. All right. And compared to the sound of the face slippery issue, neither are slam dunks, but dirt is okay. I agree with that. But when the CD that sounds better, better, then what is the point? Does that sticker look better? No, that's a boot too, bud. Yeah? Yeah, because here's what they did. Put that back up, Jose. I'll tell you why. Right. Now, I bring nothing to the table, as some, uh, some astute vinyl community people have charged me with lately, but I do know this, is that they're lumping the unplugged disc with that recording, and those two things are completely separate. Oh, all right. That's what I was asking. So all right. you've just been informed by the guy who yeah, brought nothing right. to the table that yeah. you should avoid that one. So this is my community service for the week. <laughs> all right. Now, Arnaldo, um, have you gotten any of these anniversary or the golden age of reissues? with the intent of holding value? Is that like something you think about, like in your buying decision? Like even if it's a title you may be on the fence about, or is that not even any of the criteria? Um, I Not to hold on because it will be worth anything. So you, there's no speculate, there's no speculative part of your decision tree. Some I have bought doubles of, um, maybe thinking that, they could appraise, but that's not why I would buy a reissue. I would buy it because it sounds good or because I don't even have the right. record or because I have either because I don't own the record or I only have a CD copy of it or mm -hmm. because it probably sounds better than what I currently have. True, true. There was now hang on. I'm trying to start. I'm fishing for a comment. I did a bad job because I did not um, save it. Oh, here we go. So. So tell me what you guys think of this, because this is kind of new news. I saw this actually before we, we went live tonight. So Daniel Adams, I'm not sure who you are, but I appreciate you throwing this up to us. said, did anyone catch, oh, Jose, it's your guy. Anyone catch the Rick Beato interview with Danny Carey from Tool when he said that they just remastered Enema for vinyl, assuming that would be a 30th anniversary release. So I did see that, and I did see, did see him say that, because the OG of that one goes north of $1,000. It's the only vinyl pressing. So I mean, talk about it, hunger appetite. For reissues that are long overdue, I know this one is top ten of those. And one is the thirtieth. Yeah, I'm assuming so. That would have been so because that was ninety. That been ninety four. Yeah, so ninety four would have been thirtieth, right? Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure that's ninety four. I'd have to look that up, guys. But is is, is this it? Uh, yeah, that's music on vinyl. I mean, that's got the music on vinyl sticker. All right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that would be great. That, that, that's one of those titles that would be welcomed by. I, I hope you found one people. already. Here. Well, but it was the dog one, right? Which one are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean? The I, I I I hope you found this right. Tripod? No. So tripod. Wasn't that the one you bought in Austin? No, I, I bought the mad, I bought the Mad Season without the clip corner. That's the uh, one I ended up. Can PB Thal uh, uh, sell me that? Thanks. PB Thal's got the tripod. He's got the no, tripod. He, said, he says he has a, a sealed anima. Oh, he has it. Oh, oh daddy. Well, you're sitting on one thousand smackers. So I. Uh, but which one on. was it that you? You remember you were trying to buy this in, in Austin? The tripod. I was lo I was looking for it, but like I think it, the one we were talking about specifically that was not a good condition buy. Mm -hmm. it, right. They had it priced at like four hundred dollars, but. 
it, it, it was not a condition worthy price, if you ask me. So, but yeah, I'm looking for that one. I mean, tripod, and I've heard the rumblings because since Alice in Chains is deliberately reissuing their back catalog, I didn't even ask Arnaldo this because they're releasing their current stuff on, on Arnaldo's label. Um, but it sucks how, you know, Ooh. I mean, the, the reissues, right? So you shouldn't. Well, you shouldn't. Dirt, again, Dirt was okay. This one, mm, um, I, I, I'll take a, I wouldn't say I'd take a bad tripod, but a mediocre tripod reissue at 30 bucks. I'll just say that is better than what I, I haven't even heard. I don't even know if the original sounds good at 300. I mean, I'm trying to call it. But that's just me. Right. Hang on, Jose, we have terrible news. Are you sitting down, Jose? Ivan, you oh. man, says RIP <laughs> Rick Beata. Jose, how do you respond? I know this is somebody very important to you, very close to you, uh, guided you in your sonic development over the years. <clears throat> how, how do you how do you feel? I hate to break this to you right now. Um, well, you know, I guess I'm, I'm going to have to uh, sit down with my computer with my guitar in my hand and and try to uh play verses over it jose breaking news just found out rick beato is not past tense he is alive oh. that's even worse you know that's i'm honest. sorry ivan i think your your sources were wrong apparently he is putting out new content almost daily and uh almost carl, daily. Rep carl says, beato has done a couple of very good videos about the collapse of the record industry from the 1990s check them out so we're even having people recommend contemporary rick beato content what a delight well That's i think we beat, we beat up our, our our regular topics guys should we wind down the podcast specific portion of the show and then we'll get to the free for all as jose likes to call it excellent yeah the royal uh, royal bullet that, that, well like, hey this is actually so here's a tease so music in the house that did any of you buy music from Bandbox? So I will. We'll I did. With that. I did too. We'll lead with that in the free for all portion. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. I'm going to star that comment. That's what I'm going to do. So I want to thank everybody for joining. Smaller crowd, smaller dais, and I think we had a more focused conversation. But I want to thank my guests. He's not even looking at me. Jose Moreno Ron is intently looking for that Alice in Chains non bootleg. Jose, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. And also the newest live stream star. Go check out his channel. There's always links in the show notes for this stuff. And then Arnaldo was the only one that wore a non-black top. So Arnaldo, thank you for being the shining light. Sadness. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank Chance. Thank you, Chance, for having me. And then Jason Rojas, also a live. I knew uh, he's an emerging live stream talent. He's been doing some live streams himself. Jason, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show, sir. I want to say one thing. Concert Buddy, well, two things. Concert Buddy, thanks for inviting me back on. Yeah. And I just want to say, I can't wait till they reissue Michael Fremer. I can take a joke on 180 gram, tip on jacket, mastered by award winner, winning engineer Ryan Feldstein, <laughs> pressed at QRP. <laughs> he can take the joke, can you? Wow. Um, can can uh, Jason play a little bit of that in the free for all? <laughs> you know, I feel like that was like Kennedy's Bay of Pig speech. I mean, that was right up there. That was impressive. Yeah, impressive. All right. Thanks for joining us. Stick around. Freestyle's coming up. Let's get into it now. Excellent. All right. Free for all. Jose, you rebranded us. Hang on. I even had, look at this. Guys, we're getting real professional around here. I'm even, I have the own logo. So you watch this. Boom, boom, boom. Right on Jose's face. Boom. Bow. Look at that. Such a big difference. <laughs> do you think when, when michael fremer has people over when he when when they go into like they i imagine his house has one of those conversation pits you know like from the from the old days uh and everyone's michael, sitting in indian style and they're getting a little toasty they're they're drinking their martinis and their uh their bartles and james <laughs> and they're, they're getting ready um, to do whatever they're going to do do you think he puts that on or he brings that out as a conversation piece jose I, I, what do you think I'm 100% sure that when people go to Michael Fremer's house, he started talking about Reaganomics, and then he puts on that he puts on that record. No, he, like, he, put, he puts on the Tron record. 
Oh, the Tron record? Yes. The, the, like the <laughs> Wendy Carlos, like the Wendy Carlos soundtrack? No, the, the Tron soundtrack. Uh, he he the talks original, about Wendy it. No, he talks about it all the time. He collaborated on that Tron record. Oh, and the no. Movie. Yeah. Well, how did I not know Punk. this? Wow. On the Daft Punk? No, That's not the movie. Daft Punk. The one that came out. The original, that? original. That's Wendy Carlos. Is it Wendy Carlos? Yeah. There's some, there's some record that he... That I want to say he collaborated on, but it was the Tron. I'm, I'm like. Um, we can always call him up. He's, <laughs> he's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the other him, right? It's the other him. Wow. He was, okay, yeah, he was the sound oh. supervisor. Oh, the, the sound Wendy supervisor. Carlos. Yeah, so the here's sound the, hang supervisor on, the, for Tron. Arnaldo, we've got the sound supervisor for this presentation. Are you ready? Coming in hot. He's not, he's, he's not even capped up. He's not even capped up. That's the one of yours, Senior Pablo Mazaloff. Wait oh, a minute. Is. Can you, Mr. Mazzy, can you? Can you? Can you? I can't. I don't have a copy. But maybe <laughs> I think Pablo's going to reissue it, though. <laughs> Let me say this. I know we see. Here's the deal. Pablo is. Here's the deal. No joking, I'm Biden. Hang on, hang on. We got, we, we got to put you in. No, no. Let me say this. I think it's great they're doing these Pablo things, and I don't have to be a fan. We don't have to be a fan of them. For but sure. if there's an audience, I think it just surprised us all because the last few years there was all this talk about pressing plant overload, and they, they didn't have enough pressing uh, space to press the records we want. So this seemingly seems like a weird direction to go. But there's going to be people that are into them. They'll sell moderately. They'll probably, the 250 will sell out because people like to have collections and numbered things. Subscribers will buy these. There's been a handful of vinyl people uh, I know that I've seen on these chats in the last day that have bought this uh, the $650 or whatever uh, subscription. So <laughs> even though we're not the one, but it is easily to mock. And I hope, <laughs> I wish these guys, whether it's Chad or so anyone else has a sense of humor about us mocking them because you know i i made a joke but it seems right that um yes john uh but it seems like the aarp jazz label doesn't it really um yeah, this john Batty coming in hot he says isn't there a curfew for these young guys mazzy is going to get them in trouble uh, yeah anyway you know, that's that's my take on it we, we we riff we're riffing on these things but if there's an audience who are us to like judge right that's all a million percent, a million percent. Like yeah. that is that is the biggest takeaway. But is, we're gonna mock it people. for a while. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. stretch it out. <laughs> get ready. You got if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Is that exactly. I mean Michael Fremer, how do you how do you respond? What do, what do you think of the Pablo reissues, Michael Fremer? I don't know that joke. Games. <laughs> Take a joke. <laughs> Um um a chance. Hang on, hang on. I, want, I don't want to be rude to our hang on, we got somebody backstage. Hang on, is here he party is. B? Uh, Wyoming Dave also wearing a black shirt. Look at you, Dave. Everyone's in black. Yeah, we're in mourning <laughs> with this Pablo announcement. I got to <laughs> You know, every time that uh, King Gizzard release a record, ah, Mike, from, every Mike from the Ingrove gets like like a seizure sort of thing. <laughs> and and I will say that he's never fully pronounce the name of King Gizzard and Eliza Weezer. Who hasn't? He's always oh, like, hang on. Always like, on a shock. Jose, yeah. Wyoming Dave's coming in hot. One Pablo. Pablo. Yeah. Oh, Wait, you have a Pablo. There, How do you pronounce the original, that original one? Original How one. do you pronounce that guy's name? Because I mispronounced it once and Count now I've been. Basie? Count Basie. Yeah, Count from, Bassey. From the mid-70s. You know, you're thinking yeah. of Shirley Bassey. There's Not Shirley sure. Bassey yeah. and there's Count Basie. Look, look Basie. Dave, show us that you. It, it already had a tip-on jacket. A tip on jacket. Look at that. Uh, can yeah, you can you mute back. can you mute show Arnaldo? Can you mute Arnaldo, please? He's getting all show the, the back, good info. Dave. Dave, Dave, show the back. All the good yeah. info, Arnaldo. You, you you can't say that. Yeah. The originals didn't have a, a tip on jacket. Yeah, it's not tip yeah. on. I mean, <laughs> that's tip not, on. How, how dare you? How no, dare it you? is. Who gives a shit? Who gives <laughs> a shit? Really? No, I'm, right? I'm, 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 of course, I'm joking. I, I'm told you don't play the jackets. Is this? Are, I, mean, I got a, I got a question for you, Chance. Can you, can you pronounce the name? I mispronounced it on a video today. Can you pronounce the name of that reggae-ish Led Zeppelin song on Houses of the Holy? I forget how to Wait, pronounce chance. that. I'm talking about Chance. 
Oh, but you're going past my age. Bro. Which one? The Led Zeppelin four one? Yeah. No, it's it, the, the the reggae style song on Houses what, of the Holy. Houses of the Holy. The famous song. Uh, the Bon Dior, some shit like that. I no, I that said one? it's called Dire Maker. That's how I want to pronounce it. Yeah, yeah I it's mean, not what it's called. It. <laughs> but it's not. That's not what it's called. It's like Jason. <laughs> I, yeah, I would. I mean, I would have done the same thing. I, I said Dire Maker, and I was. J- Jason, what's even. the correct Pronounced pronunciation? Correct. You you speak uh, reggae. <laughs> you can. Just show VU Meter's comment, his recent comment. Oh, hang on. Please. Rich is coming her? in hot. He says, did you, make did you make her? It's like a, it's, it's Jamaica anyway. It's uh, Jamaican. Anyway, so what you, I heard you talking about pronunciation lately. Yeah, you know, we always fuck up. I pronounce. Of course, always, of course. That, that's the funny thing is like, and you know this, Mazzy, is when you make one mistake, here, co- here comes, the, here comes the vulture, the comment I, vulture. I even said it was on the wrong record, so I fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, what, what record did you say it was on? I said it was on Led Zeppelin. Let it be. Three. But you know what? In my mind, you know how. You, okay, I'm an old guy. I'm old man. man. Oh, I, in my mind, I was confusing the immigrant song with Dire Maker and two different songs. I know the difference, but at in the D- moment, I don't. Dio D- Maker. I love the immigrant song. And I love Dire Maker, and I just confused them. So. Did you Maker? Wow. So, Mazzy, is it safe to say you're not picking up any of these Pablo reissues? Um, no, no. I, but literally, I had breakfast yesterday or morning with um, Dizzy, and he always brings like a handful of records. And he had seen, uh, I guess, Rob's thing about Pablo, and he brings like six more Pablos, you know. Um, and, because he knows the money is going to be there. People well, we wanna... sold, as I said, we sold in batches of five or six for like, I think they went on the auction for $50, um, $60 for five or six of them. But, but there are some that are worth well, more. M- more importantly than the Pablo, when are you going to keep the Alice Coltrane? The Alice I'm, Coltrane? I'm not going to keep it because uh, I have the reissue. I'm fine with it. You're what fine record? with the reissue? Oh, I, the reissue is fantastic. It sounds Which great. Um, the vinyl, I, the vinyl is not the best pressing. Mine's fine. Mine's fine. Well, I don't know. Third that man. was one of my favorite sounding <laughs> records. Was it the year before it came out? Whenever it came out, uh, when. I'm past the because I'm old man Mazzy. I don't really care about having original pressings anymore, you know. And he I want to make it, not me. Yeah, it's okay. I'm using you. You what you record, Mazzy? What you record? It. It's Pata, you know, the Alice oh, Pata El Dode. It's yeah. on, yeah, it's on. Um, uh, it's, I, I didn't look, I haven't cleaned it, I haven't listened to it yet. But uh, it's can I show a record nobody here has? Yeah, Just anyway, so that'll go in like in. April, the next auction or whatever. Oh yeah. man! Can I can I show a record? Oh, Jose, please, please. I know you've been literally sitting on this record for an hour. Go ahead. What what do you uh, got to show? This is not even mine. This is a uh, Wolfie Baby uh, told me to get this. I showed this to Arnaldo. I don't even oh, know it existed. Okay. So what? So please, for our visually impaired folks, what are you showing? Uh, that's this a different is Mas, cover. Mas Canciones by Linda Ronset. That's it's a different the, cover. Is no, that that's Mas Canciones. No, no, no. It's, it's not a different version. cover. It's the sequel to Canciones oh. para de mi padre. The, it only came out on vinyl here in Mexico. I think somewhere in in Europe and and of course Brazil because everything was released. Wow, there. I've never but, seen uh, it. Yes, Mas Canciones. It has uh, like all the songs are different and all that. That would be a great record store day issue. Yeah, he he asked uh, Wolfie Baby, you know, from the live stream and all that. Yep. Uh, Rachel's. Uh, he follows me on Instagram. He asked me if I can help him get this record and randomly somebody had it I, I had never even seen it i don't know the other ones this is not mine but i just thought it was interesting though it looks like that it's a You're horrible gonna, are you getting one for wolfie baby this is his copy cool, cool. well how, why do you have it just i bought it from him i got it it's only it was only pressed here in mexico and and oh in i got Brazil. it but he had one okay okay yeah but the, the this is how the cover looks like it looks like yeah like uh right. like wary but if you see the the this goes around the photo it's not over well that was like elvis costello's album but in america they wouldn't put the ring wear because people would think it's it's used um i think it looks horrible but like the like (laughs) what's um, the what's the album the elvis costello album is it high fidelity what's no what's the one that has the ring phony ring wear yeah Uh, the uk version only and the mofi Well, I, I just thought it was interesting i didn't know it existed um i don't know that record wow yeah yeah 
Jose was, gonna... was a gentleman because he did text me before this and asked me if I was looking for it. But I was I also thought it was the, the, the other record you were talking about. Well, the other one, if anybody if anybody here is interested, in, there is I don't know who I don't remember who told me. Oh, all right, I don't know. Take it yeah. off. The, the, no, I want one. it if you can find one. Well, no, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I hope Wolfie's watching now because I, I'm surprised he had it, a real one because he's an election denier. So I, I'm surprised <laughs> he had. A, I'm surprised he had an actual one. Well, he's Has, it was there like a, it was there a community yeah, meeting earlier. You're all hopped up yes. on the politics of that. Yes. Yeah. Arnaldo, there's a guy selling one for uh, like 600 pesos. Now, is there a coincidence that the Atlantic? I'll text you about it. That the Atlantic 75 series, the double 45s that are what? They're $59 are the exact same price of the Trump Bibles. Is that like coincidence or not? Hang on, Mazzy. I, I, I don't know if that, that, that sounds like I'm trying to invite the drama to this presentation. And I don't know if we can do it. I don't I'm know a shit can. ass. I'm consistent. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Michael you know, Fremer, what do you think about that? What do you think about Mazzy's question? Michael? Is that the is that the fortieth anniversary edition or is that an original? Mastered by Ryan Feldstein. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Pressed on one eighty gram. Jason, since you, Jason, since you acquired so that, that that highly coveted title, have you went back to Discogs and seen if there's been more velocity on the open titles? Have you have you, have you are you an have influencer? You listened to it? Have you listened to it? I bet you haven't listened to it. We can listen to it. Do you want to listen to it? No, can you please fucking Are you going to be in Austin? Can bring it to Austin and we'll, we'll listen. He to lives it. in Austin. He he lives in Austin. Austin. Right, right, right. Okay. I forgot. We I can forgot. we can actually play it if you want to hear yeah, it. Yeah, do it. What is that? Okay. That, oh, he's going to put it on now? Oh. And Jason, you could. A guy could walks do, into a bar. <laughs> you, you could do a comparison. Guess what for you, Michael Esposito? You're not a real journo, you see. It's because we need the eggs. Maybe, maybe he's talking about the Alice in Chain record. What up, what's Jason, up with you? Jason, you could do a shootout of the Michael Fremer record with the turquoise. And see which one wins. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god. Oh, they fucked up. They should that have put off, that hole in his eye. It's off center. <laughs> they they fucked up so hard. They could have done that with like with the eye. The eye Jason, you need right. to make an alternate discogs listing with that was a mispress, clearly. You have animal the center label is off. You have Animal Olympics too, Jason? No. Uh, that's a little is that is that another uh, gem by uh, Mr. Fremer? Yeah, well, he he, he actually kind of helped produce that and put and brought the voice for it together. He got Graham Goldman to do the music for it. I mean, to his credit, he's done some great stuff. Oh okay. shit! Look at this! Oh my god! I hope you guys got your vinyl seatbelts on. Here we go! Look at this view! Wow, double camera shit! I'm impressed. This is the future of the VC, Mazzy. Is, I feel like here. I'm at Beck, I feel like I'm at Beck's house. Right. Can you change <laughs> Jason's name to Jason live from? Uh, Wherever Mazzy thought he was from, like Chicago. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you doing that? <laughs> that Andrew is with a war ball. It's got war ball. That's why I was mastered by Ryan Feldstein. <laughs> Pressed at QRP. Take three. Lou Reed came from Wanta in adversity. Went to Syracuse University. Had himself a real good time. Now he looks like Frankenstein. He said, hey babe, give my car a lube job. He said, hey, honey, don't forget to change the filter. And the colored mechanics went, do, 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 then he sang like he was dead, even had to sing from bed. He said, hey, babe, give 
give my car a loop job. Do 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 Hello, bird lovers. Prank for do here with more poultry double entendres. It takes a hard bird to make a tender chicken. Don't know how big your Where breasts are. Send me a about picture. To drop I'll tell you. Like and I'll send you this handy home. breast gauge. Now, it's good on poultry is too. It up my thighs are bigger and juicier like than the others. That's because my bird comes packed in ice. <laughs> others are frozen. <laughs> if you've ever had a frozen bird, you know what I mean. That's cold. Remember, for a bigger, juicier, I just want to say bird, think there's a reason Frank why. If this filth doesn't sell chicken, he went for I'll audio file reviews. Okay. Actually, okay. that wasn't a bad. That was a, a decent. Uh, Hello, lady. Hilda. What's Hello. happening? Uh oh, we we, we woke we woke in the board and woke the board. <laughs> far up. Who is on sale? The Rolling Stones, the Moody Blues. Ten years after. Hey, I could pick it. Hilda, how much bread do I need? Two sixty-nine each. Out of sight. My my. By the way, Hilda, the dry ice anybody. works. Streams of money, much to spare. Oh, this is like Jimmy Kimmel, right? And what if he played public? Oh, Kimmel 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 People walked out in the night, ran to the concert hall. Dylan had sung his song, Tornado. He had a lot of gold. No reason to get excited. Bobby was heard to shout. This will be number one like Planet Waves, although that's now a cutout. Song about a tornado. Can I ask a question? Just what was the artist's intent? Oh, that Bobby's got That's some crud. Noise file. pollution. I think noise pollution was the original. Bobby. Singing should be your hobby. Why don't you go out and become a lobby? Uh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> you should not listen to any more of this. This is yeah, not let, let, yeah. We don't we don't want to either. Look, I think this we're, we're bleeding viewers college, at this right? point, and we've got a we've got a true live stream legend in our grips. We need to take advantage of that. George Borden, how are you, sir? <laughs> George, from one to Stop use it, it to decorate your wall. How do you rate that record? Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. <laughs> From one to using that record to decorate your wall, how you rate it? Uh, I would just decorate my backyard with it. All right. Oh, I like this uh, zoom in. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm it looks like I work this. for Kellogg. This is like our our yearbook page. <laughs> <laughs> can 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 you put me aside of Jason doing the? Yeah, we need Jason doing the side eye, and we need the yeah, the monocle. Does there a monocle that co was there a monocle inside that jacket when you broke the seal, Jason? No. no. <laughs> Son of a Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers. I have my ice tape. I, I, don't, I have a scotch tape here. Is that a <laughs> It looks like if you put it sideways, it doesn't look like no. This this I that record I, I, was so bad. Jazz Bums Mike jumped from the Jazz Bums account back to Jazz Bums Mike account. It was that bad. I would like to. I, I, could I? Can I congratulate Jose on his first live stream? I was yes. proud to to, yes. to be on there. Oh, th thank, thank you for even uh, inviting me. Thank you thank, and thank and you. Uh, congratulations, man. Oh, th thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, Jose. Jose was literally like, who was that guy? Uh, Christopher, Bush's uh, Secretary of State, Warren Christopher, was that his name, the little guy? Um, well, there was a, not the little guy, there was a Warren, uh, there was Warren a, Beatty? No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, my, my point is, Jose was literally, he was bringing parts of the community together that 
had been at, at odds or had been estranged. And then we're, we're lucky with this that this border thing didn't pass because then he wouldn't be able to do the live stream. So that worked out pretty well. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, That's come on. Uh, Jose as, knows. As he goes to one community outreach meeting and just comes in blazing hot. Jose hey. knows what I'm talking about. Hey, Mazzy, here you go. But no, Jose did good. He did good, and he was he was good about passing the ball around. He picked up the the intricacies of the live stream. So, Jose, are you going to do it more regularly, Jose? Is that the plan, or what? Um, uh, uh, I, Stephanopoulos. I think no one's streaming on Monday, so maybe I'll try to do it on Mondays. My dog is sneezing, by the way. Stream whenever's convenient for you, dude. This yeah, is bullshit. Works. No, I, I can do it every day. Um, like actually, Mondays might be good because I, I would probably hate it, but at the same time, I would that's the day that I would feel more free to do it without thinking like I have to do all this stuff, you know. So CBS, maybe ABC, NBC, Fox, they all get along just fine, and they're all going 24-7, man. Yeah, no, no, no. Look, I, I I I heard people like over analyzing my, my, my stream the other day. There, there were too many diverse people, but it's like, but that's the whole thing. It's like find common ground and records we like and stuff like that. You know, it's just it was like more entertaining Disney, to me. Than, it was you know, like so. it's a small world after all. The Disneyland ride, I loved it. it was, I didn't see it though. So what? I didn't see it. I missed it. I didn't know it was on. You had a stream going, so I was out. Oh, it was just like a last Which. minute thing. Wow, Jose streamed over Mazzy. That's horrible. What a you bastard! Bro, I don't do stream. <laughs> I, I I'm not good at it. I don't like hosting. I well, like Jose to went, didn't, didn't Jose? Yeah, didn't so you do seven streams a day. I show up on streams, but I would never. I I rarely host one. I've hosted a few. All right, we're gonna listen. We're gonna spill some tea. We're gonna do the Mount Rushmore. Who appears on the most live streams on a regular basis? Top no doubt, it's Mazzy. Hundred percent. Yeah, Mazzy's on there. And okay. Stunty. I think okay. Stunty. Yeah, and, uh, and Stunty, for sure. Uh, I think Rojas would agree with this one. Let's, let's go ahead and, and, and put William the Flipper up there, because if there's a live stream, he will find it. So I think he's got to be coming in hot. Wyoming Dave, who is the fourth tent pole of this illustrious group that hasn't George found Gordon, a live stream? George Gordon gets board? around quite a bit, right? Uh, and Elliot, Elliot Cruz gets around, especially on especially on OnlyFans. You know, I mean, there's a bunch of us. You know, especially as, re as semi-retired guys. You know, we have time. We so like so. It. Rich says uh, view meters. Rob is on the short list. Uh, he kind of gets around. Yeah, kind of gets around. Oh, yeah. what? What was the question? What was? The oh, hang on, Elliot. Elliot, for you to the wolves. He said Jose. He said Jose. Jose is, yeah, I mean Jose is the doorknob of live. Why is it a bad thing if you want to get out and hang out with people? And we love talking music. No, no, no. Yeah, out. please. I'm not like saying it's too bad. A, oh, Think of all the people, the regulars that are in every peanut gallery. Literally, there's like. Oh, Jose, that. we've got praise from Elliot. He says Jose's stream was very good. I watched the replay, enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, like Bill K is in the peanut gallery of every stream. VU Meters is in a lot. Leland is every single one. Loki is in every. Mazzy, Mazzy, we love you, dude. We're just fucking no, saying, just saying it. But there's on. a lot of people who don't come up who are in the uh, peanut gallery all the well, time. Loki, Loki's on every stream, but this one. So Loki, I'm calling you out, you bastard. You know who's not on this live stream? Jason just showed him. Jason, please one more time for the, those scoring at home. This guy. This guy who thought the Allison Chains uh, reissue sounded excellent. Is there a colored vinyl oh, version? Album. <laughs> I heard Vinyl Me Please is doing this one. Uh, it's part of their Essentials collection, if I'm not mistaken. He's got a, he, his his froze a little bit better than Mitch Mitchell's. <laughs> is, it in, is, it in the, is it in the soul? I section? can see a face. I can see Jesus's face in his fro. Oh. Was like he was he an extra on Carrie? Was he one of the, like the, the gang? The Carrie. <laughs> good one. Oh, delightful. He was on room. George, George, I haven't talked to you in a minute. What's new? Oh, um, I, you know, I, I, uh, just the other day, I, I jumped on Jose's stream mm -hmm. uh, and I was grateful that he asked me and I was happy to be there when he first went on the air. It was great. It was just, it was just like when the Beatles were on Ed Sullivan, mm. me and Jason fun. and Jose live. Uh, and then, uh, I jumped over and did Patrick's, uh, metal stream that was fun. metal stream metal if stream. anybody has a chance to go check that out it, it was actually it was fun we were talking about like records that got us into metal and stuff like that 
It's like bar and then w- when that finished, uh, me and uh, Fantasy <laughs> got into a private chat and we're about to go live, but realized Jose was still live. So then we jumped on his. Cool. Uh, yeah. And went back in there. And then um, there was there was a it was a different a different panel by the time we got in there. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, there was a different <laughs> panel. Yeah, replay <laughs> actually. Um, and then, <laughs> Yeah. Was it like that went rotting in, fruit? I mean, what are you alluding to, George? It turned into it turned into a couple of days of me having to uh watch you know morning you? streams and uh straighten people out. Well, you know, I'm uh, I was just uh, trying to get uh, certain people to uh, yep. not bother. So it was like first uh episode might as well yes. put boundaries like you know, you we took that. We took that fella into a private chat after yours ended. Oh, all right, and told him in no uncertain terms, in a nice, careful way, to not do that. And then he took advantage of that and uh, spilled that tea uh, on his uh, public live stream. So he doesn't well, learn. Um, it is. He doesn't learn, does he? No. Uh, no. And then on uh, so on Sunday. It's the showdown, right? You know, it's been called out, and it'll happen. Uh, I can't wait. A week from this Sunday, I'm going to be in San Francisco with George and Patrick. Yeah, I, thought, I thought that the Austin show was next week. I was telling uh, uh, Chino, a month. I was already buying my ticket. I was like, oh, fuck, I, I, I bought some boots, right? I bought some <laughs> boots for it. I think the boots I, I didn't buy any boots. Month. I did buy some sneakers. Month. I did buy some sneakers for our uh, San Francisco one, but I did not buy boots. It, did, is yeah, that because Mazzy invited you to go mall walking? Did you get like some of those New Balance, <laughs> the high stack heights, or what? No, I just wanted to be ready to run away in case Mazzy got <laughs> fresh. <laughs> great call, great call. Do you have the rape whistle, George, ready in case uh, things go sideways? No, no, no. I'll probably meet him. In the, I'll probably meet him in the bathroom if he wants, but. <laughs> I'm going to run away and film it just to make it look like I didn't care. Content. Always make content. Yeah. That's great. Well, make sure to hold it. Uh, we're, meeting, you know, we're, meeting at, we're, meeting a, we're meeting at a Catholic university. So, you know. What? Yeah. what? Catholic USF, USF. University of San Francisco. Well, well, oh, so Patrick, Patrick is actually. Patrick's going to come to my house before we go there. And we're going to Uber in together. Oh, really? I don't even know if I can fit. Well, am I going to be driving there. you guys? I'm going to be driving you guys around then. Okay. Well, well, I'm yeah. driving you, I thought you agreed to drive us back to yeah, my I'll house. Drive you back. I'll drive you to the East Bay. I'm not driving to Sacramento. Uh, uh, George, no, 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 no. He's going to park at my house. I'll, I'll drive. Of course, we'll go to East Bay. George, have you ever been to a permanent records where I, where I buy your records over there in L.A.? Uh, no, I have not. It, when I go to LA, it's usually just to play music or to hang out with friends. I don't usually record shop in LA, but I have a couple times with. Well, you, you uh, should go there. I know. I, 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 you talking I'm about the be going in LA? Right? Okay. Well, yes, the, the week right. after the week after the uh, Mazzy Patrick thing get together, uh, I'm going to be in LA. So mm-hmm. maybe I'll, I'll have time to check that out. So Jason, uh, I have to, I have to put you on the spot. So so George evoked the name of PB Thaw. I don't know if he's here anymore. But he asked a question. I told him I'd relay the message. He wants to know: Is there a static between you guys? Because he 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 took a couple comments that you said. I don't know what they were. I didn't take notes. But he just wanted to make sure you guys were cool, which I think you guys are cool. But what I static think, between me and Rojas? No, Rojas and PB thought. I think I think that oh, okay. the narrative that was being spun was uh, Jason was a conspirator to the the, the Jelly Thaw uh, situation, which. Jelly I, Thaw. Uh, I don't really uh, I'm not have aware one. of Jelly Thaw. I've seen that nick- nickname. But when Thaw. me and Jason, when me and Jason were having a private conversation, he told me that he loves PB Thaw. Okay, okay. Well, and that's kind of what I thought. So, so Patrick, if you're watching the replay or watching this, I hope that uh, you know you can take the playful banter because I think that's probably where Jason was coming from. And uh, well, I'm just kidding. Uh, and uh, Michael Fremer says he can take. Why a will Michael Fremer do? <laughs> I'm gonna make those just, for Austin. I'm gonna make those Taylor Swift bracelets, and they're gonna say WWMFD. There's right. no beef, no. you know. There's no beef, no beef. Like, All right. come on, we love music. So. Like, if you want Mike? to, should I text you... from her to come on here now? Oh yes. no, yeah. you know, come on, a little channel. Yes, do it. I I think it's past. I think I'm on a shit. I'm on a shit list. I've heard. Mazzy, I I think that who who shit list are you not on? I think you're on Fremers. (laughs) 
Cadzilla, <laughs> like who else? I don't know. I I don't think He's I'm at, on George's. I don't think I'm on Jose's. I'm not on. You haven't been on Steve Westman's in a minute. Or Jason, even I don't in. know. I like Jason. I you know I don't know. I, Jason likes to tease no me. I can tease Jason, but. If I'm on a shit list, I don't know. He hasn't announced. Uh, it yet. I know Mazzy's on the border list now. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, it, it takes a, a Jew to know a Jew about shit like that. You know the humor. No, I know. I, I, I don't. Yeah, get yeah you funny. get it. You get it. I don't, I don't know. Funny. Yeah. Um. But uh, but I do think Ron uh, um, Bowage is going to kill me before I get to the U.S. But that's another. Story. Oh, <laughs> that, that's the guest you what need to get that? for your next live stream. Get Ron. Get Rockaroni. Rock, Rock and Ronnie. Can you get Rock and Ronnie on there? Well, uh, the myth, Mazzy, is that Ron went to shop at the Walmart and then he was shopping vegetables and shit. And then he saw the like the firearm and he was like, oh, Jose's like a month from now, right? So, uh, what? Knows, what are you talking about? I heard, I heard that. Every time that Jose <laughs> says he's coming to America, we all buy shotguns. Uh, I think it's have, a here. Are we going to have Baltimore cargo ship but conspiracies next? And we already have those. That's actually the next segment, Mazzy. I, I, I hate oh, it when you God. gave away the lead Can like you that. You believe Where? that shit, man? Oh no, of course it, I'm joking. What I what I will say is next time I'm in New York, I'm going to go get a taco bowl uh, at the taco. Trump Tower. Just taco to see shouldn't it. be in a bowl. <laughs> no, a Jose, have you ever hijacked a sailboat off the coast of Costa Rica? Have you ever? Has that ever happened? I don't think so. You're a safe mm. guy. Or not, I'm a trade you I, I did rip a bong once in Costa Rica. I think maybe that's maybe that's it. Maybe, Come maybe on, man. Run, you know, Jose, we're gonna go Jose, to Rich is saying, Jose, don't lie. Walmart doesn't sell vegetables. How do you respond to this allegation? <laughs> it's it's like little little true. Yeah, yeah. Right. I will Walmart say when we're in Austin, grocery. when we're in Austin, Jose, one of the one of the places he requested to, to go with me. What was that supermarket called, Jose? H E B. Yeah, Jose's like, man, we got to go to HEB. All right. So we went and we literally walked the perimeter of the store and Jose had a, had a take on it. Have you had one of these half cookies, man? These are good. These are good. Have you had one of these? These are good, man. These are good. I mean, he oh, was well, literally, he, he probably had the HEB shirt look, underneath what he was wearing. You, if so, you've been, if you've been to Texas and you haven't been to HEB, you've never, or Bucky's. You've never been to I Texas. Haven't. I haven't. I've been to Texas never heard five, of six times. No, well, yeah, you're, they, there's HEBs here now in Mexico, so that's why I go there. Interesting. And uh, I get the good shit. You know what I mean? Get the good I mean, shit. Host, 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 so if they're in Mexico, why do you want to go to the one in Austin? <laughs> Just, I love. It's like I love going. I sometimes uh, send photos to. Uh, it's like, it's, it's on like Americans that go to Europe. <laughs> they want to go to McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. Hey, chance. Exactly, exactly. Are you, are you actually coming to Seattle, like for the June thing? Yeah. Are you going to see Dada? No, I missed out on getting tickets. I we're going to see Pearl Jam on the thirtieth, oh, and okay. then we're gonna you know, we're gonna stay through the weekend. StubHub and pay three hundred bucks for a ticket. Well, I, I have been watching. I'm not gonna pay three bills, but I, yeah. I've been. I, I didn't know that venue was so intimate. I just figured I could get well, it's, walk a, up or, it's all um, sit down. So they do have a. You few can't even go to Disneyland for three hundred dollars. Jason, but, what kind of per, what kind of perversion is this? Are you gonna come to the after party Bucky's. Saturday night at my place? Yeah, Wait, I'm you've never been to Bucky's, uh, Chance? Oh no, we have we have well we don't have them in Metro yeah, St. Yeah. Louis. We have we have a, a close pack somebody called Wally's. So think of now, Bucky's. What is Wally's? What is that shit? It, it's, like it's, 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 it's it's Bucky's wannabe, but they have the the sliced brisket. They've got the beef jerky stand. It's it's a carbon copy of Bucky's, but Bucky's I think has more square footage. Bucky's June thing. What's bathrooms in Texas? What's the June thing? I didn't get invited to any Jew thing. What 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 happened? Matt Mazzy, can you please make a public invitation? Jews in June? Right Jews in June? Dada is playing at the Triple Door on Saturday night, June first. Rachel and Sue are coming across the border. We're, I'm going to make sure I like stick oh, some, coming like, in a, a Mitsubishi some smack. truck. I'm going to put some back. smack in their car when they go. Wait, back wait. So Rachel is um, so they're right about Biden. Rachel. He's just let the borders go. They're just Rachel. Right <laughs> yeah, Rachel and Sue are staying in my guest room. They're staying here uh, for Ooh. four four nights. Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> um, and so Saturday night is uh, Dada playing. Like they're starting a reunion tour. They're going to be. They've expanded. They're doing a lot of shows now. I think they have is, like 30 cities are going to or something. Is Rachel going to go the legal way through the border or is I, it like I don't know. But anyway, they're staying here. No. After the show on Saturday, there's an after party here at my place. Sunday afternoon, 
town down in pure we have to drive like 40 minutes to harry's there's a deck party in the afternoon at harry's on a sunday deck party he has an outdoor deck in Puyallup, and he wants to barbecue. And does whatever. he have a he has a massive bong to go with it? I, Sue's so gonna I stuff Rachel like, in the trunk with forty five yeah, yeah. carrots um, and go across so, the border. So that's it. And then uh, like in the, uh, in the, Chance is gonna be here around that weekend, right. and um, obviously Kimbo's and I mean the people that are here are here. Uh, Kimbo and uh, who else? Is, who else? There's some other people here. Some locals you know, here. I I'm a hundred percent sure that when Rachel goes through the border, she's gonna be like. Uh, America, I mean, with like flags, like eh, like with a Trump shirt, <laughs> that would be amazing. If you oh, I'm, that. I'm definitely. I bought like 50 uh, Biden Harris bumper stickers. They're going on her car. Can you? <laughs> can you yeah. Oh, that, can that's you that's. Can you just blast that's, them? A, that's a for sure thing. I'm I'm even getting a blow up Biden doll so they can go through the carpool lane. You know, I definitely used or unused. <laughs> Exactly. Mazzy um, rarely uses his Biden doll. Yeah, exactly. That, but it's for guests only, right, Mazzy? BG, that, that BG plus plus. Well, you have a choice of Biden or Kamala. You know. Mm. So. so this is what you have to do, <laughs> Mazzy. You have to sell his BG plus Biden doll on discounts. Yes, yeah, yeah. You have to put the bumper stickers in the guest room, like. You know, the first thing she does drops it off, and then like, well, yeah, because you go to a hotel and they put a mint thing. on the pillow, put the bumper sticker. Don't you wear, okay, uh, let me show you the book that's right next to the bed, the guest room. Uh oh, this is some common future shit. I got to shut the it, stream it, down, man. Chance at Mazzy's house, it's not a mint, it's an antacid. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wouldn't let us near the toilets when we came and visited. He he, he took it. He shook my hand with. He's a two. He's a two hand shaker. So he shakes your hand. You know, it'll be amazing. Your arm, so he's a two. You know, it'll be amazing. Can I suggest Massey get a blanket that would like the constitution like printed on the blanket? Like... <laughs> okay, we got a few things here. We right, got a copy time. of the banned book Howl, which oh, was all right. obscenity cases, city lights books. Uh, yeah. obscenity case in San Francisco. I saw the Rachel. Bench. I know you don't watch our show, but I hope you're watching this, Rachel. You need to take notes. Yeah, that, right now. We got Wait, this. Does Rachel doesn't one. like Howl. This is the best one. Um, people want to punch you in the face. Yeah. And then I got a statue, a commie statue here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is, that's, that's in the guest room. So, and this has uh, the Bible that you don't have to pay sixty bucks for. This is a little, actually, it's Mao's little red book, uh, Chairman Mao. You know that whole thing. So, so you, so got you a, can com sell a Bible. You got from commie any shit at, at the World Headquarters here. So every weekend, mazzy has been going to flea markets and antique malls, and this is what he's he's procured. Uh, can I can I send you some here. of this communist records that I own? So you can go along uh, with it. Yeah. Ivan, I don't dare windows. what? What do, don't I dare? Uh oh, hang on a second. Is it getting hot? Is it getting hot out there? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Ivan asked a question. What's the rate for four nights, Mazzy? What do you, what do you charge? Oh, they're just gonna. Every time we go out, they're buying me dinner, and and I'm not paying for anything. Well, I heard you. You're gonna try to go to two Dada shows. Now they're adding the second show, and I'm, you're trying to go, leverage. Like, not go me the we're not going Sunday night because uh, of Harry's thing and. Uh, afternoon, oh, we don't want to rush out and go because Harry's down there like 40 minutes away. So he's like, he's to Tacoma, yeah, well, before that, but more east. Um, we're gonna go to the Jimmy Jimmy Hendrix's, uh, where he was, uh, where his uh, gravesite is. Yes, yep. that's actually cool. We're going apparently to um, uh, Bruce Lee. I've never been to Bruce Lee's, I've been there. Yeah, well, I'm gonna give them the tour. We're, we'll probably go see where is that a new oh, restaurant, going... Bruce Lee's. No, what do you mean you haven't been to Bruce Lee's? We're, we're, we're going to go to, uh, to uh, Qualamy uh, Falls, and we're going to the cat, the diner um, where uh, Twin Peaks, uh, and the and we're go and that's like thirty minutes from my house. We're, you mean you mean Twin Peaks? Wait, wait. I want to try. Yeah. I wanna try you can get pie and coffee that whole. Well, thing. surely you're going to take him to Easy Street for breakfast, right? It's oh, also yeah, the one where yeah. Tony Soprano got shot, right? Let yeah, no, it's right. it's there. Oh, look, it is Twin Peaks, right? We'll probably go maybe where um, uh, Courtney Love blew the head off of. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, hang on a second. We can't have that. That's all speculation. This is getting Rachel. Would it be I'm speculating? Can you tell us I'm all the conspiracy where, theories. Where that Courtney Love second. killed Kurt Cobain? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh. Um, the truth is out there. It, 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 oh, supposedly, okay. it was it was actually it was well, Alan Ranch. Probably should go to the Edgewater Hotel. It's gotten to be pricey. So they can buy me expensive cocktails and we can eat there because the Edgewater is where all the bands in the 60s and early 70s used to stay. And that's where uh, Frank Zappa, that's where the, the story of the mud shark, 
with vanilla. Fudge. It was Led Zeppelin. It was. It was. It, maybe no, your red I snapper put, wants I, this was, red snapper. I, they say that, but I think it's vanilla fudge actually. And it, oh, well, look yeah. it up. I mean, it's one of the. They both stayed there, oh, and, you, and there's a picture of the Beatles fishing out of the it window on the, on the Puget oh. Sound, <laughs> and. Um, that's where, not the monster. That that's where the mud shark, where they're, they're fucked with the hooker, or not the hooker. The Massey, can you do a line from the groupie? Uh, Man, it was please. a groupie, not a hooker. I am not. I, I'm <laughs> a, I am a human. Eat your arm out, Michael Frummer. Right, nice. I love that. Thanks. Hey, Jose, hang Thanks on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on the Acoustic Sounds website and get that record. Hang on a second, real quick. <laughs> Uh, uh, am, I, am I the only sucker that has value of the dolls? <laughs> you might be. Hoping. Isn't that Return yeah. to the Valley of the Dolls with Sharon Tate? Or is that Sharon? Oh, no, that's right the second the one. That's the second one. This is the first one. Is that Sharon Tate? Uh, no. Right. Look at Sharon Tate, man. What a what a pretty right. lady she was. I know. Okay, there you go. Here's the Beatles fishing at the Edgewater Hotel in Seattle. Is that going right, to be a uh, Rachel photo in the near future? Yeah, that was Miami Dave coming Hollywood. in like Rain Man. Look at you, Miami Didn't Dave. Frankie goes to Hollywood do a cover of that with "Relax, Don't Do It." Nice job, Dave. Hang on. You know, I was um, for whatever reason I was uh, looking into um, Frankie goes to Hollywood story. It's very boring as fuck, but uh, it was interesting to know that they really tried it after that and they didn't make it. Well, what do you mean, Jose? That you 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 were seeking information on? They didn't have like a yeah, behind um, the music or something on that. Yeah, they like, did uh, have a behind the, the music. No, actually, it was they were trying to bring them back together. Yeah, something like that. And okay. I think one of the members had relocated to New Zealand, so they end up bringing the entire band to London because it was done in different parts. I guess they went out to talk to the guy in New Zealand first, and even got the singer holly johnson involved in it and it looked like they were going to perform because that's what the whole thing was but putting the bands back together I forgot what the name of the vh1 show was and they're all there yeah, storytellers the music no was it behind, i forgot which one it was but bands was reunited bands reunited thank you yeah. oh, nice yeah. and the whole band's there and holly johnson doesn't show up <laughs> he bails on them well, that's they a number. Right? I remember that show. Yeah. They didn't play. No, they didn't because he didn't show up. Well, hey, I, 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 go ahead, Jose. No, have you seen the Steely Dan one? The oh, VH1 what bands one? reunited? They did the same thing. No, no, no. Like, I think it's Storytellers. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing that. One. No, I, I, it was not a joke. It was just, or I was behind saying. the music. Storytellers is one they actually play. Perform, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they tell the stories behind them. Um, I, I met the guy from a flock of seagulls. He he has a um, uh, what do you call that? A food truck in New York. What? Yeah, he sold me like the copy of a flock of seagulls that I have. Did he sell uh, you the Taco Bell? No. <laughs> no, I, I, it was a burger joint on a, on a thing, and he 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 told me I I was uh, I was on that band, and I was like oh, and then he was like I have a copy here. You want it? And he just gave it to me. Wow. Yeah, because I was he one of the brothers? I I think he was the bass player. Okay, because I know the two brothers don't oh, get yeah, along yeah. well. How, they how they, have, it, they don't have the haircuts, in, I guess. Yeah. Um I, they have more songs that are good. I don't know why they were like a once an over and done thing, but uh they have good songs. Because that's yeah, still, I got, I got still got still good albums. Yeah, hey, George, hurt. George, we got one. We got one from the gallery. Jazz Bums Mike says, the more Pablo reissue hate that occurs, more likely George will buy them to spite you all. George, how do you please do these charges? It, it, well, what it shows me is that Mike has listened to some of my travails, and I do tend to, when people start complaining about something enough, go out and gobble them up. Mm. Um, mm. Mm. I, I, you know, khaki pants. <laughs> uh, Tommy bad shirts jeans. okay yeah, yeah and digital right. records you know uh, i uh, and <laughs> you're you're a rebel george yeah just um, buy them all george 650 for the subscription and they're numbered i'm gonna text Imagine chad and make sure you get a discount 
Uh, have, yeah, have you seen the photos of the Bob Dylan movie that are going around? Any thoughts on I, that? I didn't see the movie. Uh, no, I haven't. I've just seen. You haven't seen the photos? No. Not, yeah, not, have, not. have you seen them, Arnaldo? Have you, do you have any no, thoughts? On it? Hey, do, thought, you, do you guys know that there's a good um, film of the Flock of Seagulls playing at the US Festival, totally live? No, no, we don't care. We don't care. It's what's well, on YouTube, yeah. man. It's yeah, it's don't. actually good to watch because care. they're George, they're George. a synth band. Change the subject. Oh, it, change the on a big stage, let's, let's it's go actually to good to watch. I, I, let's go I'll back to your pocket. Uh, what's that movie that has what, the what, Feelies what, what, what the fuck playing? Uh, uh, George, do you know that movie that I'm talking about? The, it has the Feelies uh, playing like two songs in a high school? Yeah, uh, I know what you're talking about, but I, I don't know what it's called. Here we go. Jason going big. You got a picture. Is this a Timothy Ch Chalet or whatever his name is? Yeah, oh, oh, hang on. And I like the fact that Jose is the number one like on this. It says like by it. And that's Jose's yeah, Instagram handle. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right off the bat, the photo looks stupid and too stylized. It doesn't look anything like Bob Agreed. Dylan or anything. Yeah, yeah, no, what are you everybody, talking about? Everybody's been saying I'm, that. No, everybody. I'm done. With looks that. More no, like no. Bob about, Dylan is wearing Chanko like jeans. Chanko. Chanko. What the Will fuck? Walk Bob yeah, Dylan just walked out of an Urban though? Outfitters. <laughs> no, there are worse photos than that. Let me let me. Right out you. of the Abercrombie and Fitch. You know what's a good movie to get Kevin inside Lewin Davis? That is a good film. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, and you watch it two or three times. It's great. Cohen Brothers. Yeah, that's a good Cohen Brothers movie. Yeah. You're uh, right, Cohen. Patrick. It looks like John Mayer. It's like bob dylan walked out of you know john mayer's flat with stealing his clothes you know, john is that movie is, called your body is a wonderland john is mayer is a great guitar player but he's one notch up of uh maybe better than dave matthews boring they are, they are whoa, 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 whoa. man he's I'm one notch up of a vanilla shake is what he's whoa, one whoa. Notch up oh my gosh guys i'm gonna have he's to a great guitar have, player though yeah. one of the great stickmen of the current era like, Who? do we have to go through his roster? I mean, Who? this guy has Who? John Mayer. Oh, John He's Mayer. A great yeah, I, I, I see more butthole than anybody by two o'clock in the morning. I know what you're talking about. Player, he just, no, no. Listen, do we boring yeah. music? No, no. Uh, listen, about the music. Jessica Simpson is sexual napalm. I think is a quote from John Mayer. Yes, <laughs> but hang on a second. <laughs> hang on, you got. I'm we not have, kidding. Listen, this, Look, I'm bringing the barroom conversation to this one. So here, here we go. Here's the roster. You ready, Mazzy? Are you sitting down? Okay. Jessica Simster. Renee Zellweger. Katy Perry. Jennifer Aniston. Wait, wrote, is, are these notches on his belt? belt? Are these notches on his belt? Yes. But what? Okay. Taylor Swift. Wait, stop, stop, stop. I don't want this to turn him into a tomato. Uh, it's uh, proof that he's a cream. shit guitar player. You're making this a live tomato fest. I'm just saying the full body of work, guys. You have to consider that's the full bullshit. body of work. No, that's hey, a chance. Yes, Dan. The rough fest on body is a wonderful land about Jennifer Love Hewitt, I think. Hey, it worked. Because yeah. then he is on this out, list. Then he comes out. Then he comes out and brags about it. And Playboy, yeah. what an idiot! What yeah. kind of an that's asshole bullshit. does that? that guys. I, yeah. I, I'm, what not he's a good guy. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm saying he's a bad guy. Basically, he is and company. Dead and company. He's not even a dead member. He's and company. Uh oh, yeah. Matt Mazzy, he's, he's getting tight. Freddie on Mercury had um, sex with better chicks than John Mayer. Wow. <laughs> and wow. didn't need to brag about it. <laughs> wow. George, you um, know what that one deserves, right? I mean, because this one is a. <laughs> wow. We have to get a chance one of those like uh, buttons just to push one because. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, I, the, the drops. There's so many drops. I just haven't found a way to integrate them all in the presentation. Any one but... of those like a sample. Uh, um... Well, listen, I thought I was pretty good with this one. I mean, I, I didn't know there'd be conspiracy talk, but we got it. You know, the oh, chat one, of course. I can't yeah, believe in, in, in I all can't honesty, believe John Mayer is, is co actually competing with the Raging Tomato right now. In, in oh, that's why honesty. my viewer counts down. David Donnelly and all the VC guys. Yes, <laughs> David Donnelly, the, doc, the doctor. In, in, in all, all, all honesty, are hanging in out all honesty, deck. John Mayer is a good guitar player. Yes, There's he is. no doubt about yeah. it. Yes, he's a correct. great guitar player. Yes, and and he actually, who else, you know, would have the balls to cover Jerry Garcia? Sure, standing next to Bob Weir and then pull it off, and he yeah. he did a decent job of it. I'll give him credit for that, but what? he his, his, his he's he's too much of a like a like a succubus. 
he's like a he's like that guy that he just he he's pulls like people into his orbit he's, and then screws them in public. He's like, like by the, saying horrible he's like shit the about tech them. Bro at the bar. No, I, yeah, I, I look, hate look at that guy. I I, 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 I want to punch somebody that does wow. that. Wow. Timothy Shamalama Ding Dang pretending he's Bob Dylan. Wow, is that is that a uh, Jesse Winchester reference? Is, is, is that Richie Havens at Woodstock? <laughs> <laughs> this, these are new lows. New There's lows. so much hate for John Mayer. I mean, this guy. Seen, can can, this can I say one thing in defense of John Mayer? Arnaldo, I'm not, please defend. I'm not a fan him. by any means. Oh shit, John Mayer. But it came out like early 2000s or like he came 2000s? out. No, it, what came out is the oh. John Mayer Trio live album. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's I have that really on good. CD, and I was like, what? Yeah. He's really good. That album is really he good. Is, I, I, oh, yeah, he's he, a great guitar player. But, but the chicks really weren't flocking to that one, so he went back to his <laughs> other shit. Yes, his, yeah. his dopey shit. Wow. He, are there really any John wow. Mayer albums on Pablo Records? They oh, should. Goodness. They should. Can and you imagine Pino, if Pino Mazzy Pino Palladino is playing bass for him on that trio thing? It's actually a yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah, Steve Jordan's on drums, right? Steve that Jordan's is a great good. record. I was actually very surprised. You know, Maybe I'm Billy just going to say that he's, with John Mayer, you know. his lyrics are so fucking dumb. Well, no, it's not yeah. just that. His so, singing is so lame. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, the singing is great. And I'm like singing. Like, he has as much soul as a loaf of Wonder Bread. Oh my he's God. a thirsty. He's a thirsty douche, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's fine. Listen, I'm just gonna put the roster here. This is, I mean, guys, the musician part. You got to look at the full body of work and look at this roster. I mean, this Kim is Kardashian. Impressive. Listen, yeah. I mean, obviously, he, obviously, Chance um, has got him scheduled for the next uh, Mind of the Record Collector, <laughs> and that's why he's backtracking. Well, this is a barroom talk that we have often in my little circle. It's the greater stick man, is it? John Mayer, or is it so Justin we, Timberlake? We Justin dump, Timberlake. Has we, also dump on, we dump on Vampire yeah. Weekend now. <laughs> Elliot, yeah. no, I oh. wouldn't ever say anything like that, Elliot. That's ridiculous. Uh oh, but Elliot. Uh oh, John Mayer is infinitely better than William. Oh my gosh, Elliot! I can't believe you went there, Elliot. What is going yeah. on? William Elliot, makes John oh, Mayer look like uh, up Tony Mayer, Iommi. Like he beats up on Mazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> This is tough. I don't, I don't feel the VC beats up on me. I don't feel. Oh, I'm bring a, it. I don't feel persecuted. Hang on, Mazzy. We got a question for you from the gallery. Jazz Mums Mike is yes. beating the dead forward. horse. Who's looking forward to the 2025 AP Pablo reissue list? <laughs> <laughs> John Mayer is. Feeling. John Mayer is. He's and, sitting and at the keyboard. He's waiting. Elliot's new, Elliot's new comment is genius. Did you see uh -oh. that? You got to flash it. Elliot's on fire. Elliot, where are we at? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. I don't feel people beat up on me because I can take that shit. I, I, it's all Mazzy's good. on way more live streams than John Mayer. <laughs> oh, great. Now, Eddie's here. Eddie Perez, who I think we'll see in Austin. He said, I saw him, I guess John Mayer, on a video of the Jammy Awards, whatever the hell that is. In 2004, he was on stage with Robert Randolph and Derek Trucks. He couldn't keep up, in my honest opinion. Oh, no, no. Derek Trucks is a genius. Have you ever seen Derek Trucks play he the can guitar? He can, he can kill it. Good Lord. He sounds like a like a gospel singer on that guitar. Oh, hang on. That Christopher Hill. Incredible. Yep, this is right. Pretty sure John Mayer got Halsey as well. And if so, Halsey. Who's Again. Halsey? Who's Halsey? He's a female oh. <laughs> singer. <laughs> he was, uh, he's Mazzy, a current he's musician, right. What did you Mazzy? say, Mazzy? What, what was that comment? I don't know who Halsey is. <laughs> Chance, remember, remember it's a, she's a singer. Okay. It's like saying, Let "Who's that girl that did uh, Back to Black? Uh, the one that that, that uh, OD'd or Amy or, Winehouse? Uh, Winehouse. Winehouse. Yeah. Mazzy doesn't. Mazzy's still catching up with Amy Winehouse. Well, I have, I have a, a Back to Black. What's the record called? Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's the it. record. I have. Yeah, I have that. You like it? I love it. Oh God, it's great. Cool. It's great. She's oh, a great this, singer. This is Halsey. <laughs> There's John Mayer's O face right there. Look at that. No, go back. Go go to Jose. Hang on. We got Matthew with a picture of O, and we've got uh, Jose. There's, there's, is, I don't know there, who she there, is. This is the wallpaper on Jose's phone. That's what that's what Jennifer O's. Aniston saw every night there, Chance. <laughs> I don't, but I don't George, know. I don't know Jennifer Hulk. Aniston. Don't know Let's be honest. Come on now. Hang on. Looks like he was slipping a disc. <laughs> 
Oh, I play this. Guys, I can't believe. Hey, 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 uh, I have a better one. I have a better one. I have a better one. Oh, hang on. Jose's got a better one. <laughs> <laughs> Is wow. That wow. I mean, I don't. I mean, this may be the peak of this presentation, like all time, right? Oh. Jose, what, what did you put in the Google search? He looks John like, he looks like, put John he looks like those TikTok girls that stick their tongues out and put oh their eyes out. Yeah, oh, right. my gosh. Yeah, I don't know Jose. Okay. Oh, PB Thaw says, Mazzy thought they said John Mayer has palsy. <laughs> <laughs> and Jose just oh, proved it. That's kind of funny, but not really, Patrick. <laughs> Wow. So it, let me get this straight. I'm, I'm so, afraid. I'm afraid to know that Patrick knows who Halsey is. It's. It, I'm afraid, afraid to know. <laughs> Admiral Halsey. It's from uh, Paul McCartney's song. Albert. So, I, so question. I gotta yeah, ask. So, Mazzy, you're going to San Francisco. You're gonna meet up with George. And well, that's it not like why I'm home. going. I'm. I'm actually driving down on Wednesday. Oh, coming up. Okay. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna stay. Gonna I'm gonna be in the Bay Area for nine day, Nine days. I'm staying in Mill Valley. I'm going next Saturday. I'm going uh, to a big wedding of old girlfriends of mine, daughter, uh, and it's getting a big wedding. Okay. And um, that's kind of what I'm going down for, for that. And then I'm going to see people around on either side. Um, yeah, so Elliot, Cru Elliot Cruz is, is getting jokes from the Michael Fremer playbook. He said, I had Halsey once. It took me months to clear up. <laughs> you know, I, lo I love, I love uh, Elliot uh, photo. That's just a dog leg. Like looking like that, so I, I imagine the dog saying instead of Elliot. Is, is that is that better? Sorry, Elliot. I had the I had the wrong drop at the wrong time. I apologize. There's a delay on on, on chances of uh, uh, sound effects right now. Listen, Jose, yeah. I've got literally I have thirty of these drops, and it's I'm not like Fred Norris. I don't have like a good drop board, but I've I've got some heaters. I just you know whoa you gotta, inside on, Howard Stern reference. Inside See, Howard Stern reference. George, George Fred gets Norris. it. George gets it. Wow. You know, They're all uh, going to come out at some point. I used to think Chance was a loser, but now I <laughs> he's deep. Well, George, George, I don't know if you knew this about me, but you know my name in the community is uh, Concert Buddy Brings Nothing to the Table. So I'm, I'm trying to really hold up to that end yeah. of the bargain. You know, this is the first time that I ever... It's that uh, used car salesman vibe. I, this is the first time <laughs> I ever thought that Elliot Cruz might be taking mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I think he invented mushrooms. Yeah. I mean, he Elliot talks was about a, being the, 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 the clean kid, no drugs, no anything. I think he's uh, taken some psilocybin mushrooms. Mixed he started microdosing in uh, 1985. Yeah. Matthew, do you have this? <laughs> I'll say just does not stop. Which, which Elliot? Is that the is that the first one that the, the expanded one? No. Yeah, it's a book. It's a, I have that book. one. Yeah, I do have that one. It's very beautiful, right? Yeah, it is nice. I like. I like. And, that and, and, and I guess we're all going to sit here and say that uh, either or is not his best album. I never it, heard of it, 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 it is. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think it is. X, XO. It's a great record, but it's been played to death, so I don't want to listen to it. I don't think any of his records have been played to death, really. Well, right? that one. It was the like the we're one. We're not talking one about one rumors here. here. Or well, Mazzy, well, great segue. Great segue. In the but... mid '90s, in the mid '90s, like Vanilla Sky and stuff, they were using that stuff from either oh, or, yeah. you know. But that wreck, him just singing so quietly in that little basement, you know, if you know the story behind it. Yeah. And he was just down there singing quiet, and it, it, you couldn't stop the genius. You know, I mean, you I, couldn't stop I feel it. That you're talking about the conspiracy about uh, like Uncle Tupelo, Cobain shooting himself. It's the weirdest thing. It's Stand not a conspiracy. Entity. It's the truth. It's fact. I know, but. But stabbing yourself, that's like a that's a hard one. But yeah, I believe with it. Scissors, but... With scissors, Mazzy. Not yeah, it's Robin Mike. Williams territory. Yeah. You know, I actually know no. more about that, but I cannot uh oh, hang on. Can't oh, talk Jason, about that. Jason, damn it, Jason. Whoa. Hang on a second. So now we, we have it clear that Jason was there. Jason was there. We we can't go there since this is live. You know, oh my gosh. That, that's have, you ever, have you ever have you ever gone true. swimming with Jeff Buckley? Have you ever gone swimming with Jeff Buckley? Oh uh, no, George, you just <laughs> wow. George, you know, I was on that river when it happened. Ah, yeah, me too. I was rafting by <laughs> and you you uh pirate hijacked my uh raft and that and I, wow. I, was, yeah, I, remember, I never I remember, I remember that back so then. I'm gonna try to oh, rein it in as we kind of when we first became up. friends. Yeah, so yeah. last question. So Mazzy kind of teed it up, but I, I, I meant to bring this up earlier. I was waiting for an expanded talk on it, but uh, talking about those reissues, I don't know if you guys saw this, but I saw Amazon is getting into the exclusive, you know, vinyl game. They probably already have 
exclusive colorways. They're coming out with the entire Fleetwood Mac. So talking like 75 Fleetwood Mac self-titled, like the Buckingham Nick stuff and beyond. Are you talking All, about Dusk? The I'm talking about Tusk. I'm talking about rumors. I, I'm Tusk, talking... I love Tusk out of those three how many records. Times has the worst to... cover of them. But how many yeah, times do they need to reissue today. these albums? Like then people. play on Kiln House, all that shit. You know, I don't know if they went that deep into it. I mean, I just saw, I just a, saw the like the main ones. I saw yeah, Tusk so rumors. Talk about when T. It's the same old shit. We're we're very rare that we have these records or know of these records, even if we don't have all. There's a, a lot of people out there. It's kind of like doing these auctions where, oh, I can get that stuff cheap. A lot of people, there's like one channel. It's funny. Dizzy started showing me, and I know that guy. I don't know the guy's name, but there's that guy that cool. you never, you never cool. see his face. He does those ongoing 24 hour cool. auctions. <laughs> cool. He does the 24 hour auctions, and he just shows a record, and people bid online. Oh, Chad, a collector. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Whatever. Yeah, the Clinico, we've seen it before. It's amazing yeah. how much those records go. Because a lot of people are that are sit at home, they have no record stores near them. It's the same shit, and people buy that stuff. So all the power if they're pressing them and they're out well, there. Who gives in the eighties, I, I was twenty years later buying Beatles records, so I could see how now a newer generation still wants to buy those older classic records. Yeah, but they don't always want to go through mildy, moldy exactly, exactly. Up records. They buy a new record, and if they're, you know, there are people out there, too, who are making money. Despite what everyone says about the whole economy and everything, people you know, are, have John jobs. Mayer just signed a contract with Pablo Records. <laughs> 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 Breaking news. No, I, I lost it. I totally lost it. But oh. Here's the difference. We weren't trying to sab it. No one is bidding up his stuff. I want yeah, to be very clear we're, on we're that. We're having so. a good time. I mean, I yeah. literally want to buy a record. He didn't allow me. So Chris, so Chris, while I understand your point, we weren't ruining his auction. We were just in the play, uh, yeah, observing well, and maybe. Uh, having a good time. Okay, that, I don't think we were doing that because we weren't bidding up. Okay, uh, fair enough, Chris. I get it. We were having a little laugh. We asked him. So we didn't bid on anything, and we didn't say things are shit or shite. Um, Someone said, Do you have any Pablos? Oh, sorry, sorry, Bill. Bill. Jim B just commented. Check this out. Who's Jim B said? Maybe Petey Pablo. <laughs> oh, Pete. <laughs> They're out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mia culpa. We're, we're fucked. We're assholes. We were just doing what Mike wanted us to do. I know. I mean, if we're going to blame anybody, we need. You're, you're talking about like the OBC, you know, motorcycle gang. I don't think it was like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, it was like Mike kind of started it and then we just went along with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, okay. Leland, this is this is a good question. Somebody, we, we left too early. Can someone buy the ding dong record? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Chris, if you need a copy of 2112, I will give you one. My friend. Whoa. He just said he just said maybe I could get this chat under control. <laughs> uh, we had a okay. <laughs> He's talking about us. The crazies are on after <laughs> yeah, it was right. it was probably it was probably Yolte, out of line. Guilty is kind of charged, you know. Craig Craig Thomas says ban these fools. I'm I'm reading some of this. Okay. Uh, anyway, well, they they knew it was the vinyl community. That's what's weird. No, well, well, that's well, no, that's, be, that's because that's because B size was quick to drop the, the diamond. Hey, um, uh, I have to go now, but uh, all right. Well, I think it was a good run, guys. The stream will probably be taken down. He'll probably come after us legally. <laughs> and uh, nice run, nice, <laughs> nice way to go out, go out on top. And, I, did, I was able to get this. Well, from contact me, Bill K. Contact me, Bill K. And I'll get you some twenty one twelve. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Rich is hey, a good well, question. Is a ding hey, dong record? I send you a message. Check you later. All right, Jose. Guys, let's go ahead and call it a wrap. That was a good run. Yeah, Had a good time. Man. Apologies if that offended anybody, but uh, hey guys. Get hey guys. All right, be good. Later, See dudes. You.